Welcome in, everybody. Um, so, first things first. I changed some things today. So, let me know how things sound. Let me know how things look. And just in general, hopefully it's all going good. <laughs> I, I made a lot of changes uh, today because yesterday we were kind of having some weird issues and um you sound amazing you look amazing sir shaker you're gonna make me blush <laughs> um so i was testing a reset here we didn't get anything i'm not counting this but um yeah i i had to do some tests Imagine if you had a shiny starter on all the DSs at the same time. Multiply 8192 to the 6th power. That's what the odds would be of me getting 6, 1, and 8192 shinies all at the same time like that. It is a very big number. <laughs> I, I don't think it's ever happening to anybody. But um, it's not a 0% chance. Who are you and what have you done with Sir Shicker? Yeah, he's being nice right now. It'll, it'll change later on. I know how it goes. Uh, we're starting off. I have a distortion actually already like pre-cooked, pre-ready to go on Legends. So we're going to... Oh, God. We're going to start the stream with a, a distortion. So if you guys don't know, I'm doing the Heart Gold Soul Silver starter hunts which are full odds, 1 in 81, 92, but we get to check three Pokemon per game each reset. So that means we're getting 18 total Pokemon every single reset, which is insanity. So uh, I want to make sure the counter is working right now. So let's just, let's see. Because I adjusted the camera angle and stuff. Um, I thought Call Misty was on screen. No, it's, yeah, not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for Sir Sheiker. How have you been? I've been doing well. How have you been? How's things with everybody? We're going to try to to blitz through some of these resets. Um the screens should be looking better. They're at least looking better for me. I kind of zoomed in a little bit. I changed where the camera was at. I really was trying to dial in the camera settings today and like yesterday. So let me know what you guys think on that. But for me, it's looking a lot like crispier on the screens. I can actually tell for sure whether or not it's a shiny of the thing now. Some of the times I was kind of guessing a little bit, especially the bottom left screen, which is still stanky, but not as stanky. <laughs> you could do with a couple more 3DSs. Um, these are DS lights, but I would agree. I would kind of like to have this set up with 3DSs too. I think it would be sweet. So that might be... Remember guys, I say this at the end of every stream, but you might not be around for the end of the streams depending on your time zone. All of the, the donations, memberships, all of that stuff. I don't just pocket it. I don't just pay my bills with it. This is all funny money for Calm and Collecting Industries. So... It goes to my ridiculous collection of Pokemon games, or like the, all of these, these DS's here. Things for stream. It's important stuff. <laughs> Alright, we have a distortion. Sorry if you've already explained, but how are you controlling six at once? Um, it comes up like every stream, so it's all good. If you want links to everything, exclamation setup in the chat. I'm gonna make a video on this though. I think is is basically going to be the deal but i have a wireless controller mod that i soldered into each of the ds lights and then i have a game boy advance that has a special cartridge that communicates with the wireless controller mod so whenever i push a button on the gba or ds i could i could use the gba cartridge in anything um it will transmit those controls over to each of the the gbas or ds's or whatever i have the wireless controller mod in because there's actually a few things that the wireless controller module works with which is cool all right back to it hello i'm here jewel welcome in moby you're gray that is sad times i thought you like just got a membership for some reason um 
<laughs> Either way, it, it's all good. You'll get a gifty eventually. I'm telling you, uh, Hassan and Jess were both gray. And baby Pluto just said, nah, no, you're not. <laughs> and, and changed the timeline. So uh, it'll probably happen. You know how it goes here. Uh, my Entei hunt is suffering a shiny drought in which game? What are you hunting Entei in? Uh, just got here. Nick, welcome in. We just got started, so you haven't really missed anything yet. Just a, a few resets and one distortion. Nothing shiny yet, though. But guys, you see how fast the counter is going up for this. It is insanity. We get so many checks. That bottom right number is counting each individual check. So we get three per DS. So we get 16 total Pokemon every time we do a soft reset, which is crazy. My DS on the left is white screened. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, something's going on here. I don't like that. It's doing me a bit of a concern. It also isn't detecting the DS game. Hold on. Oh, God. I knew it was going too smoothly. Okay. Okay. I don't like that that crashed like that because that makes me think that if we find something on there, there's a chance that we lose it. This is almost like Scarlet and Violet where you don't know if you're actually going to be able to keep any of these things you get. <laughs> and we can't save before we like get the shiny or whatever. So that's a, a little concerning. Um... Okay, well, well, we'll just have to, to wait and see, I suppose. Uh, what have I done here? We're going to be desynced right now. Oh, my God. This Everything is terrible. Everything is terrible. All right, whatever. We're going to reset. Uh, better save quick. Yeah, I know. We have to go through a bunch of text and stuff, though, too. <laughs> Uh, hi and bye, No Name. Enjoy the movie, No Name. I didn't see where you said you were going to go see a movie, but enjoy whatever it is. <laughs> I'll be here. Back to the Calm University with his elementary level math. What did I, what did I do wrong with the math? I don't think I've messed up any math at all today. <laughs> not yet. I'm not saying that I won't. I just don't think I have yet. You said 16. Oh, it's 18. Uh, okay. It's it's because it's six consoles. I was thinking six. It's 18. It's it's three times six, which is 18, in fact. It is going to be a long night, isn't it? A very, very long night. What do you guys think is going to shine first? We already have a Chikorita, and we're definitely going to be getting to at least odds tonight. I forget how long it took us to get 4,000. It was not that long. And we can have a longer stream tonight, so. In PLA, what mount do you use the most and the least? The flying one is the most. Ursa Luna is probably the least. There's just no reason to use Ursa Luna. Every now and then you have to climb with Sneasler. I hate when I have to break out Sneasler. Ceiling Cat, that's nothing against you and Sneasel. It's just like less efficient than flying. Um... But Ursa Luna is just like, it doesn't really do anything for you. Does nothing. <laughs> Quality looks better today. Uh, I can see the red sp the red spikes on the Toto Dolls. Yes. Yeah, I really was dialing in the, uh, the video settings today. And I think I found a, a better balance in general on all of this. So, we'll see. I'm uh, pretty happy with how it's looking right now, though. And my audio should also be a little bit better. I don't think you guys 
this might be a, a hot topic here. You guys might not hear the cat anymore either. We'll see. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking we have sorted out the background noise a little bit better because my background noise removal is what was causing the, if you guys were here yesterday, the kind of like stutter or like the buzz noise that it was making. We had a really kind of nasty sound happening on the uh, the mic for some reason, so... I don't know what the deal is, guys. My whole setup has been collapsing. Uh, the DS white and black screens in HeartGold SoulSilver should only be on menu boot up. Uh, it's a cartridge reading error. Oh. Um, interesting. Okay, I mean, they're older games, so maybe it's just, you know, the cartridge is a little nasty. If it happens again, like, this is the first time it's happened in a couple streams of this, right? So... Well, I guess this is the second stream of it. <laughs> Either way, if it happens again, I'll probably just clean it off. You know, I got the, the toothbrush and rubbing alcohol, the, the classic. <laughs> the audio super crisp. You'll love to see it. Love to see it. Um, since you had Chikorita as the thumbnail last time and you got it, the shiny Chikorita, I'm going to say it's Totodile today. That's, you know, that's valid logic. Does the game follow my thumbnail logic? Because honestly, I'm just guessing and trying to get a little variety in the thumbnails. <laughs> um, you didn't hear any glitchy noises in that last night. It was like towards the end of stream. Were you here towards the end? Uh, I'm catching up, catching up. I hate when I have to break out Sneasler. Me instantly sees red. I know, it just... <laughs> It kills the flow of my movement, man. I, <laughs> I just wish it was more seamless. The Sneasler popping out and I didn't have to climb into the basket. And you know... <laughs> I wish it didn't have to be like that. Uh, is that a Gengar squ Squishmallow? It is in fact. And a, a big Gengar right there, too. We got all kinds of stuff back here. We got the 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 Cubone. We got a bunch of games and cards. and We got some good stuff back there. You can even see all of my... Uh, wow, this wide-angle lens. I'm telling you, you can see all my GBA games and stuff there. Got the, the collection, the assortment. <laughs> um... Cowtail the candy bar, not a beefy treat. I hate beefy treat. <laughs> I hate that phrase. <laughs> um, my least favorite is Baneri, to be honest. Your least favorite, what? Um, hold on, we're gonna have to resynchronize these here. All right, we're good. I have found the secret sauce to to resync. I, I've at least got that kind of down now. Bottom left messed up. No, I know. I've been trying to keep an eye on it. It's tough. Just randomly, it won't won't exactly work. But we'll we'll make it happen. Yeah, all of these games when I got them, I did clean them all up with um, rubbing alcohol and stuff too. But it just. <laughs> Some of them are a little bit more well-loved than others. You know, they they definitely were going, getting swapped around in different DSs, and they were playing a lot of different games. So you can tell that they're really beat up. I think I could probably... I, I would be scared to do it. I can solder, and I've done some pretty involved things. Like, all of these controller mods are, are pretty involved. But I think I could probably touch up the contacts on the game cartridge, but I just really do not want to have to do that. <laughs> I do not want to have to, like, try to mess with that, you know? Gyarados. It's easily the most iconic. Gyarados. Are you talking, like, shiny or just Pokemon in general? The best shiny starter yesterday. I got the best shiny starter yesterday. We got... I didn't get one yesterday. <laughs> I got nothing yesterday. <laughs> you mean last stream on Heart Gold Soul Silver, right? The the Chikorita. 
We have one Chikorita and nothing else so far. I did get a bunch of my saves and stuff backed up too today, which was cool. I, w I was pretty uh, productive today. It's a good thing. It's not always like that. <laughs> uh, not that hard if you have a good enough setup. A uh, microscope on the cartridge, is it's a breeze. You need a microscope for it? Really? I don't know. I mean, the contacts are pretty large and in charge. I figured it would just be heating those up and then just throw in a little flat, just, just a little a painting of solder on it, you know? That's what I assumed. <laughs> but um, with the DS games, I don't even know how you would take them apart. I use this. This is like a funny trick. If you guys ever have issues with the DS having problems reading a game, I got this little whatever. This came with one of the DSs I bought. Um, what you can do is if the DS isn't able to read any games, it's probably the pins inside of the DS. And what I did was I just got a ton of rubbing alcohol on this. I just put a bunch of it, basically just dumped it on this game. And you, you don't want to do that on a game that you really like, but this I don't care about. And I use this as like a cleaning cartridge. So I just like popped it back and forth in the DS a bunch of times to clean the pins off with the game with a bunch of rubbing alcohol and it fixed it. So that's a, that's a hot tip. Also, there was a doggo right there. I don't know if you saw. It's a hot tip for me to you. Little refurbishing guide. <laughs> Can eyeball it? Uh, I just have horrible old man vision. I feel that. <laughs> I do feel that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm i going to try not to have to do that uh, as much as possible. We'll see. Have you done the Magikarp Path of Solitude in PLA? If so, how to? The Magikarp Path of Solitude. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to say no. <laughs> um... Hold on, hold on, sorry. I'm trying to read chat, but I really don't want to miss one of these starters either. I have to read chat in between these resets. Um, I'm currently hunting a Gen 2 shiny Celebi on Crystal. Been searching off and on for months so I can send it to Scarlet and Violet. I have a week left. Um, Craig, you have more than a week. You have more than a week for sure. I don't know how much more than a week, but you have more than a week. Because Bank is not being shut down in a week it's all of the 3ds like eShop services that are being shut off but um bank is up for until they say it's not gonna be and they haven't announced that yet so don't stress that yet i would still go through and do that hunt if you want to transfer it over but um you have more than a week so don't be like stressing too much we got a distortion over here Um, a puppy spotted. Yeah, we got the doggos running around. They'll, they'll be around here. You guys, let me know if you hear a cat meow, a dog bark, a squeaky toy. Because I want to know if the, the changes I made to the, the noise cancellation are working or not. Just keep me posted on that. Bays, welcome in. How you doing, buddy? All right, we're going to let this cook. Do some resets. Um... Dillo? Am I saying that right? <laughs> um, been no, no lifing Dragon's Dogma 2. Um, <laughs> uh, dude, I have been seeing Dragon's Dogma 2 stuff so much, and it looks hilarious. The, like, um, the little followers that you get that are, like, trained by your guy, they kind of use, like, AI or something to, uh, learn how to move and what you do and stuff. So if you fall off cliffs a bunch, they just walk off cliffs like idiots too, and it's hilarious. Because they like Looney Tunes splat. Just They don't like land on their feet and then fall over and die like in a lot of other games. They they just full, flat out belly flop on the ground, and it is hilarious. So I've been seeing a lot of Dragon's Dogma 2 stuff that's just basically that. Just these poor NPCs just laid out, just not having a good time. <laughs> um, 
The post-game battle stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't do any of that. Is there a reason? Like, what do you get from doing those? What career field are you in? Do you have a guess as to what career field I'm in if you don't know yet? <laughs> what do you think? What what would I be? Guys, if you know, don't be don't be spoiling here. <laughs> um need to update the like goal. Guys, let's get a like goal 100 pinned up. We're already flying past the like goals it sounds like. I appreciate you guys liking the stream. Have a full box of hacked shinies on Pokemon Violet. Why? <laughs> they're they're so reasonably easy to get in that game. Why you gotta hack them? <laughs> get rid of them. Go do your shiny hunts. Eat a sandwich. Enjoy your time with your shinies. Don't be doing that. Accounting. Do <laughs> you do not want me as an accountant? Have you guys heard my math? You don't want that. Trust me. People would be getting audited left and right. There's no chance, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, accounting is a, a bad look. Anybody hiring me as an accountant, they're in dire straits. I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm in, I'm in like network security, IT stuff. I'm a, a big dorky computer guy basically that's the the gist of it <laughs> calm is obviously a junior dev without git push access for production safety reasons you know i used to be the guy on the devops team that had to deploy all of your guys's code i did a lot of that too it sucked dude it was not a good time um tax consultant yeah i it's like I've been avoiding taxes for so long. I'm really good at it. Here we go. Guys, I pay my taxes. Don't be telling the IRS about this. I, I pay my taxes. Calm and collecting industries is all uh, above the table on the tax game. And I couldn't do that even if I wanted to because old YouTube takes such a fat cut. They report it to the, the, the state and everybody else anyways. Oh, that's a shiny ride on. What the heck? Um, why did I even go this direction? I mean, we'll take it. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I'm not putting this on the board. This is this is not a thing. But anyways, he's here. Maybe he goes on a, a mini board. There might be a mini board for legends. How about that? Just a very tiny board for the legends specifically. I'm a bit angry about that, but okay. About the ride on? Lightgo was 69. Look at the total likes. Hold on. Oh, it's 60. Who said we need a new light goal? <laughs> Somebody scammed me out of this. Somebody lied, and I don't know who it was. I wasn't paying attention. But if you guys haven't liked the stream yet, just consider doing it. Help you boy out. We can get, we'll get to 100 for sure. I know we will. Um, all right. Right on. You better be careful with these jokes. I see you guys talking about it, hinting. It's a, a one-way ticket to the Shadow Realm, believe me. <laughs> you gotta get creative, guys. The Slugmon right on stuff, it... It ain't a thing anymore. Get it together, guys. We need the community creativity. Let me get uh, a little, just a little lad right on, because he's going to be on the board only for Legends. We're going to have a, we got a board on your board, so you can find shinies while you find shinies. Here we go. This one's going to be 3D too. Good ol' right on. Where the heck is he? Got him. He's just gonna be a little fella. He's just gonna be like... Look at him. Just, just right down there. Just, just hanging out. How about that? Or maybe he should go... How about that? How about like that? Because we're not gonna find a bunch of them. He's just gonna be sitting with the Legends game specifically. He's not gonna get, you know, the full... 
the the highlighted position, but you know, he he is a shiny. He deserves to have some sort of spotlight here. He's something. <laughs> Not exactly what we were looking for, but you know what? We'll take any shiny we can get at this point. What would your dream job be? Um professional I don't know, dude. It's tough to do one thing forever. What would my dream job be? Professional pizza eater, maybe? <laughs> I would get sick of it, though. You'll get sick of doing anything for a long period of time, I think. Um, what else? I mean, I could do shiny hunting. I have already gotten sick of this before, though. So it would have to be a, a, a mix, a variety of things. Calm is unsheathing a reasonable size wrench that turns into a Tetsaiga. A Tetsaiga. That's the, the Inuyasha sword, is it? I can't remember. It's, I thought it was like Tetsaiga or something. Is it Tetsaiga? That's a, uh, that's a throwback. I like it. <laughs> um... Professional anime watcher. There you go. Although there's a lot of trash anime. A lot of real bad stuff. Volt, three bucks. I appreciate you. Okay, but what if an ARP REQ ride ons over to McDonald's and asks for a Big Mac? What if an ARP. Don't. Don't do this. That's ARP. He said ARP, which is weird. <laughs> don't do this. Don't be making networking jokes. This is not a, this is the worst kind of dad joke. <laughs> Stop it. You're going to go to jail. That is that is one way ticket to Ohio. <laughs> Bolt, I appreciate the 5 bucks. It hurt even more because it was Linus making that joke. <laughs> My dream job is a game developer who actually makes good games. Um you know, I wish I had the the dev skills to make the things that I want cuz I'll tell you I okay here here's my actual dream job cuz you brought something up I think I would be like a really good um like maybe like project manager kind of or like a game director maybe something like that cuz I don't know what the position what the role would be but like a lot of the ideas and balancing stuff is what I really like doing. I've made card games before. I've worked on video games and stuff before, but my big thing is I can't make the stuff and do the, the proof of concepts and everything because I can't dev. <laughs> like I, I can, but it's really bad. <laughs> so I need somebody who like can do that side of things. So I, I would be like the ideas guy. And help with balancing and all the other kind of game engine related kind of things. You know what I mean? That I think would be my dream job. Having like a game studio. It'll be Calm and Collecting Industries Game Studio. We'll, we'll have to think of a better name. <laughs> uh, trying to hunt for a shiny in Brilliant Diamond by Miss, Miss Mindlessly running around in the grass. So you're just doing random encounter hunts. It kind of sucks because the charm doesn't work in that game. It's too bad. But, um, good luck. The thing I really like doing is, um, the underground. I wish that the charm worked because Grand Underground was a really cool idea for, like, multiplayer shiny hunting. It just... You do get a boost if you find all of the, the diglets and stuff. You get, like, a minute or two of boosted shiny odds. But... It's not like a ton. It's not really worth the time it takes to run around and find all of them. <laughs> I'd be interested to see the math on that. I'm pretty sure it doesn't math, though. <laughs> Straight to jail. Straight to jail. Uh, I'd like to be a professional artist or a YouTuber. Yeah. The, the art stuff is cool, too. I'm also not an artist. You could be a QA team manager. That might fall under that scope. There you go. That sounds like not as exciting of a job, but I get what you're saying. I get that it... <laughs> that sounds like way less exciting. 
but that's the the professional lingo. <laughs> uh, my dream job would be a professional long form YouTube content consumer. There you go. Yeah, that's that's a good thing for me too. <laughs> Jenny, how you doing? Not lurking today. You love to see it. Love to see it. What are you doing today, Jenny? Doing some some shiny hunts, perhaps. How's things? Now that you're not lurking, you're out of the shadows. Skuma, welcome in. Yeah, calm and monetizing. That's me. <laughs> uh, I really, really, really want to make a Pokemon fan game, but you know, I don't want to get it taken down and ruin my chances at professional game development. I will just say, I don't think that would ruin your chances at professional game development. Just so you know. But, um... Yeah, with fan game stuff, it's kind of tough, right? Like... I, I have thought about making a, a, a kind of Pokemon-y kind of game, but it's really tough to have the same kind of magic that this had with it, because everybody grew up with it and stuff. Like, you can have really good monster designs and music and art and everything, but it just doesn't hit the same as this thing that you grew up with your whole life, right? But I, I see they're shiny locking things, they're making things that aren't like running great, and I'm like, I, I know people. I could I could make something really great that has all the elements of what I like in these games and all the things that I don't like don't have to be in there. Have so many shiny hunting options. They wouldn't they wouldn't be shinies. They'd be some other uh, you know <laughs> some other word for shiny. My wife is in here. Do you want to show them what you made today? No? Okay. She says no. I guess I'm going to show you. Alright. My wife made this today. Girly. It's a mirror. It's very dirty. <laughs> oh, God. There's you guys. There you are. Anyways, this is the, the main part of the show here, though. It's like a cake kind of thing it looks like frosting you know so she made that today and made some hair clips too you... okay i guess i'm showing them on a sketchy uh food tray they're drying. they're drying she says bears kirby and the word kirby you didn't make those bear things right like no. those are just plastic those are crazy detailed. If you made those, there you had something. Either way, pretty neat. She's accessorizing. Um, that it? That's all you got? There you go. Yeah. She says peace. See ya. <laughs> um, I'm catching up. Everybody says so cute. Was on a hardcore triple hunt marathon since last night. One is in why starter soft resets. That is a nightmare. <laughs> I hope you get it soon. That sucks, though. We've had a few people doing those uh, X and Y and Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon starter resets recently. I don't know what the deal is with you guys wanting to do those hunts, but uh, we, we've had quite a few people jumping on that bandwagon recently. My concept in six words, the creation trio commits identity theft. There was a creation trio, creation trio. Never mind. I was thinking of the, what do we call the Reggies as their trio name? What's their band name? Is it just the Reggie trio? <laughs> that would make sense, but. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. The Titans, the Reggie trio, the Titans. I like Titans. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> we were just going to try it for as long as we could take it now we're invested see that's the problem right <laughs> you get uh, emotionally attached <laughs> yeah it's tough once you get a few resets in you're like well I can't stop now I have to go to at least a hundred well, I have to go to at least a thousand. Oh, uh, we're already a quarter of the way there. <laughs> yeah, it's a slippery slope. I know how it goes. 
I'll probably be dancing that dance eventually. Not yet, though. I have plenty of other things that I'm wanting to do, so I, I haven't gotten to that that point yet. It isn't a trio anymore. Yeah, I know. Um, is, is Reggie Gigas counted as one of them? He's like kind of their boss, right? Or their dad. <laughs> I don't know if he's actually part of the squad, but there's five of them. Six if you count the, the big daddy. But uh, I don't know if he technically counts. He's just the ringleader. Raze, how you doing? I see you there. <laughs> By the way, um, Garg, welcome in as well. Sorry if I've missed any of you guys. We, you know how it goes, right? You know how it is. <laughs> I count Reggie Gigas. I, um, I don't know. I don't know what the consensus is on that. But either way, I mean, he's got the word Reggie in his name. So I, I'm fine with that. I think that's, that's fair. Been shiny hunting Tepig on two different copies of Pokemon Black. I'm at 24,000. Oh, God. <laughs> How long are those resets to do? Because I'm going to be doing that at some point as well. Um, I don't know if it's faster in Black and White 1 or 2, though. Because I have a bunch of copies of both. And I'm not sure which one I want to do the, the hunts in. But um, eventually, we, we just have so many things. So, so many games I have to clear. Were you the one that wished for me to have a long Salazzle hunt? Me? I don't feel like I've had many people I've cursed with a long shiny hunt. I, I'm not going to say I've never done it. <laughs> I, I don't think I have, but you know, maybe I have at one point. I don't specifically remember slamming you with a, a salazzle bad time though <laughs> getting ready for the easter dinner tomorrow um i would have otherwise i would have ordered a pizza i mean pizza could be the easter dinner could could be a thing pizza's pretty good yeah i don't know what we're gonna be doing we're not doing any easter activities so um I'm not sure what the, the dinner situation is going to be for us. Shiny Curse story time. Um, your Shiny Curse story time? Let's hear it. <laughs> Think black and white is better. Found Tepig in white 2 after 16,000 soft resets. In black 2, you have to... You just open up the box, you pick the Pokemon, and you go into the menu to check it, right? And in black 1 or just black and white, you just throw it out in battle, right? So I guess it's quicker because of that. But is it... I don't know how much dialogue leads up to that. You know, I get that opening up the pause menu and stuff is kind of a pain in the butt, but it really depends on how much text is before that whole deal. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm not sure about. Cyndaquil's next. Um, buddy duo. I would be down with it. I hope it's just not another Chikorita in a row. I would like to get like a couple of the other things first and then we can start getting duplicates because I want to get one of each evolution. So we're going to continue doing this after we get all three. But um, yeah, I just don't want to have a bunch of extras of one. The only one that I would be okay with getting extras of is Chikorita because we're going to need a female one. That's the only one of these that has a gender difference. So, hey, Calm, do you remember the goofy Pokemon that were sent in the Discord? Yes, I do. The, uh, <laughs> the bootleg Pogemans. That poor Mr. Mime. <laughs> About to pick up Fallout New Vegas on the 360 because I want to revisit it. Why on the 360? I feel like you can get that on Steam for like two bucks if you have a PC or, um, you know, other new consoles. It'll be running a lot better. But I guess if you if you got the 360 and it's still working, I feel like there's not that many 360s still uh, kicking around, right? Got that red ring. <laughs> I've never played it. I never played any uh, Fallout game for more than like a few minutes. 
what animal even is Cyndaquil? Um, it's kind of like a little, little hedgehog, anteater, armadillo kind of thing, right? He's got a little bit of all that. Porcupine kind of thing. Quill is like, you know, like spiky, like a, a hedgehog or a porcupine kind of thing. Hello, hello, any luck today? Bully, nothing yet, but we're just getting started. We're, uh, we're not doing too bad though we i mean we've already had a thousand checks and it's not even an hour in so yeah we're doing pretty dang good actually <laughs> we were super super under odds on the chikorita we just we can't be stopped on all of these we have such amazing luck on the first hunt of each of these retro hunts that we've done we always seem to get it insanely under odds and then we kind of have the the bad times <laughs> that's how it happened in gen 3 as well um cyndaquil is an echidna an enchilada if you will um i don't even know what an echidna looks like <laughs> i know that's what knuckles is supposed to be always side with yes man yes man uh, it's like how Totodile evolves into an alligator. Or alligator. He's an alligator, but he starts out as a crocodile. I feel like there's not that big of a a difference there, right? Like, <laughs> they're, they're pretty close. I know that all the animal people are going to be like, Hey, yo, they're very different. Here's the genetic reasons why they're so different. But they, they're like pretty close, right? Right? <laughs> echidna sounds like a species of spider no it's like um it's kind of like an armadillo right it's like a what is the name of that thing it starts with a p do you guys know what i'm talking about i i forget what it's called but it's like a little armadillo with scales almost and um little punchy arms hmm I'm going to lose my mind trying to think about this. It starts with a P, I'm pretty sure, the name of this thing. The animal. An echidna is a hedgehog with a long nose. A pangolin. There you go. Pangolin. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> what a weird looking little am aminal that thing is. The pangolin. They're, they're just little fellas. Just live in their life. Um, trying to check these thoroughly. The bottom left, even with my camera adjustments, still kind of sketchy. So we're, we're going to work through this. Shiny female Chikorita is about a 1 in 65,000 odds. Got lucky and found one myself when I completed the set. Um, yeah, it's tough. Because it's a 1 in 8 on top of the, the 1 in 8,000. We know it's a, an uphill battle for that for sure. Um, I'm not really stressing the gender difference stuff right now. Um, eventually I'll probably be going for some of that stuff. But I'm not going to hold up other hunts for that, you know. If it happens, it happens. But with our Trico in Gen, Gen 3, the first shiny Trico I ever got in... Uh, the olden days was a female. It was 360 encounters. <laughs> we popped off with that Trico, and then we kind of got demolished on the, the Torchic front, but that's that's okay. It wasn't even that bad. It was like 14,000. It's not the worst. <laughs> um, Birdkeeper Toby has a tree of life where he uses science to identify where they belong IRL. He determined the Typhlo was a badger. A badger. Um, I could see badger. I could see badger-like qualities there. <laughs> That's the thing. Pokemon aren't just one animal, guys. They're always an, an assortment of ideas. Of animal ideas. It's never just one thing. Science where on animals, what animal is Chikorita? It is a pear. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's an open and shut case, that one. 
I don't think there's any animal related genetics on that one. It is it's all fruit. Um call me and my friend keep beating each other in Super Smash. Which one? What are you guys playing? I used to be a pretty um I don't want to say good. I used to be pretty involved in the Smash scene. I played in tournaments and stuff. I played a lot of melee. I played tournaments for Brawl. Brawl kind of sucked though. And uh, I never did tournaments for Ultimate, but Ultimate's actually pretty fun. I'm assuming that's what you're playing. It's a baby dinosaur. Yeah, it's it's a fruit dinosaur. How about that? <laughs> I think fruit dinosaur is pretty cool. It's a pretty nice combo. He read it as science. What did I say? <laughs> what? Where was? <laughs> okay, whatever, dude. <laughs> I misread things. You know this. We we all know this. I'm 98, almost 10,000 soft resets in for a North and Lily in Ruby and Sapphire right now. So tedious. That sucks because I'm going to have to do those hunts as well. Is it just a lot of A presses and then checking the menu, right? You have to walk out, I guess, too, right? You have to give them the fossil, walk out, walk back in. Can you save after you give them the fossil though? How do you do that hunt? Because I'm going to have to do that at some point. Let me know on that. I'm actually pretty interested on that. And on the topic of Eevee, BKT determined that Eevee is... I like that we have an, an acronym for this bird keeper on. <laughs> Eevee is its own branch on the tree of life. It's its own little special thing. Definitely no dog or cat DNA at all per bird keeper Toby, which of course the, uh, the definitive guide to, to what Pokemon are and are not. It's ultimate. I play dark Samus and King K rule and he plays Ness and Yoshi. I really like the King K rule pick. That's a, a goaded pick. If you will, I play K rule in ultimate. I play big bodies. I play K rule um, I, I like playing Bowser and stuff too. Just like the big chunky dudes. Ganon as well. <laughs> uh, DC, welcome in. What type do we want the new evolution for? I think Dragon was like a pretty popular one. Uh, an interesting one for me as well that people mentioned is normal. Like evolve without having a stone or something. I think that'd be kind of cool. But... In Gen 10, I think there's a possibility that they just say, hey, here's evolutions for the rest of the types. Somebody mentioned that in chat before. And I think if it will ever happen, we'll probably get a new evolution during next gen. If we don't get one next gen, they probably aren't going to do it unless they really, really run out of ideas. And they're like, crap, I'm going to pull out of this, this bucket. <laughs> Ghost EV would be cool. Yeah. That's a shame that Game Freak hasn't made any games as big as HeartGold Soul Silver. Um, dude, the two region games are just insane. It's so cool. Uh, like you said, this is just the the largest scale game that I mean you start at level one and you end at like level 80 something. It's crazy, dude. I like how the battle music changes when you cross into the other region too. The the um Heart Gold Soul Silver Kanto Gym Battle theme is just 10 out of 10. I think probably my favorite Pokemon track of all time, actually. Like battle theme. It is just so friggin' spicy. It is too good. <laughs> um you give the museum guy the fossil, go out of the room, save in front of him. And then you get a new roll every soft reset. Okay, so you don't even have to do the back and forth. You just save right before you pick up the fossil and it generates then. Hmm. Spam A until the nickname option comes, then you push B. Yeah, so you're just having to think a little bit. You can't just mash A. You could just mash B, can't you? Doesn't the, the B move the text forward as well? Or do you have to press OK to like say, yes, I want to take the, the fossil back? <laughs> maybe that's what it is I don't know it's been a long time since I've done these 
Uh, I want a non-dragon Eevee so it can break the only special type trope. Um, Flareon is a physical attacker. What do you mean? Flareon is definitely like physical E, right? I don't know that it's like a great physical attacker, but that thing was the the most physical of the bunch, right? As much as I want black and white remakes, it would be cool if we got a new Johto remake. I mean, there's potential for both eventually, right? Um, There's so much content in them. Yes, yes, there is. There's so many Pokemans, so much stuff to do. Amazing music. I'm a big Gen 2 stan. One of my favorite gens of all time. And I was kind of hoping during this announcement that we were going to get something on that, but we did not get that. Uh, we got a new like goal, guys. I appreciate you liking the stream. Glad you got in. If you haven't liked the stream yet, just think about it. Help your boy out. Um, but Flareon is bad. Yeah, Flareon is bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not great, but it is a physical attacker. But you're you're wanting a big jacked fighting type Eevee or something, right? You're wanting a, an absolutely ripped Eevee with tons of attack. You mash A to launch into the game, A to interact with... Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then you spam B after you talk with the guy, basically. I got you. you. So you have to change it up. You have to go a little back and forth, but it's not too, too bad. Yeah, press A to talk to him, then you just mash B. Not terrible. But um, I think in Let's Go, you have to like, you have to walk back and forth for some reason. Or there was, maybe it was BDSP you had to do that? For some reason, I remember, or maybe it was just faster because the soft resets are so ridiculously slow. That could be it. Because <laughs> BDSP sucks like that. It's <laughs> it's a bad time with those soft resets on the Switch. I'm telling you. Dark, dark times with those soft resets. Um, <clears throat> If they reworked its moveset to be more physical fire type attack, it would be much better. The, I mean, it has Flare Blitz, right? It should. My cat is in here eating dog food. Hold on. She knows she's not allowed to eat dog food, but here she is, eating dog food. Um, it's just like the white two starter hunt, um, because you have to still go into the menu, basically, right? You have to go into the summary and see if it's shiny. It's, uh, it's too bad that they don't show it when you get it, like the sprite. This game really did it in a cool way. Like, why don't they just have a preview of what the Pokemon is before you pick it in everything? Why does it have to not show correctly? There's really no reason. <laughs> All the baby outbreaks are boosted for Easter. There you go. If you're playing some Scarlet and Violet and you need a shiny baby, now's your time. It'd be a nice time to get a Lekid because that thing kind of sucks. The cat's just sitting here looking at the dog food. I see her out of the corner of my eye. She's being a little demon. You're not the boss of her. See, that's the thing. I am. <laughs> I am, in fact. Um, I think it's funny that I have a grudge against Shiny Hopip. I found three. Um, he's a cool little dude. You have enough to have the entire evolution line as Shinies. That's not a bad thing at all. He's such a little friend. He does really try to KO himself, though. He definitely does that. Has memento for no reason. Um, now, Daydane is another Pokemon like Pichu and Eevee that needs a long neck and some extra segments. That is a very strange phrase. Very strange phrase, that one. <laughs> uh, Manaphy, don't even show the shiny sprite when you hatch a shiny. Um, that sucks, dude. I haven't ever done that shiny hunt. Uh, there have been a few people doing that because of the, the Pokemon bank stuff going away. Sorry, I keep looking back for my dang cat. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the worst. Are you going for three shiny Mareeps? Yeah, eventually. 
eventually we'll just be doing the living decks in these games too. It's going to be a much slower burn than uh, the Scarlet and Violet stuff, right? Like, it's uh, definitely not as fast, these 1 in 8,000 odds, but that's fine. The slow burn is nice sometimes. Don't think those outbreaks are shiny boosted, just boosted for the Vigor mark or something. Hmm. It's weird when they decide to do certain ones that are boosted for shiny odds or just boosted for marks, and sometimes both. It's kind of hard to tell. Like, what the heck are they doing? Do they want people to have more of them, or do they just... The mark events are not that interesting to me. I know a lot of people were doing shiny hunts for the marked shinies of that specific mark. That, to me, just is not that big of a concern for your boy. Um, good evening. Emery, how you doing? Welcome in. Found a shiny hone edge in 620 eggs and sword. Were you talking about that yesterday? I think you were, right? I remember somebody mentioning a shiny hone edge in sword and shield. But either way, congrats. It's a, a spicy shiny. I'm a fan of shiny hone edge. My friend who I've texted maybe thrice just sent me a video of a guy just saying, Yippee! I tried to do it. I can't go high-pitched enough to do the meme. <laughs> More Peko, so cool though. Uh, two, not though. Reminds me that I need that shiny. It's uh, it's all right. It's not a bad shiny. It just uh, goes white on one side, right? That's basically it. Completing a fire red playthrough so that I can eventually hunt Deoxys in this game. Yeah, I got to do it too. I have to do it six times. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do it, dude. I need to figure out a, a solution to get through these games because I, I'm going to have some things. I do think I want to soft reset hunt everything that I can soft reset in those games, though. Like, I think it would be cool to do resets for, um, like, Electrode and stuff like that. The ones that you encounter. What else? There's got to be a few others. You can do the um, the game corner stuff for like Abra. It's really easy to get Abra in that game. Um, hmm, hmm. Yeah, the yippee. I tried my best, okay? I, I have a deep man voice. Oh, God. We're completely desynced now. Hold on. I, I have to look at these individually. Okay, we're, we're good. <laughs> this is the issue with the setup. Uh, is there more than one type of shiny for any of the Pokemon? Ye kind of? The ones that have forms. Like, that's the only thing. So, like, Tatsugiri, um, technically, technically, Minior, I guess, has different ones. It still tells what color core it was, even though the shiny is the exact same. Um... What else? Is there anything else? I know there's got to be some things. Uh, I live for Voltorb Flip. I'll open up Heart Gold and just play that for hours. Your Voltorb Flip stand, huh? <laughs> I'm going to have to do some Voltorb Flip if I want to get those coins. So I'm going to have to get on that uh, bandwagon as well. I know there's like a... um, There's somebody who made an app for like the, the most efficient way to play Voltorb Flip and it tells you like what moves to make <laughs> I don't know I'll have to mess with it I don't even really remember it is Pokemon Bank going away eventually it will be it's not um, a lot of people are confused in thinking that the uh, Pokemon Bank is going to shut down in April which they have not said yet they said that Pokemon Bank is going to continue to work even after the 3DS eShop stuff goes down. But the writing is kind of on the wall, right? Like, it's eventually going to go down. So a lot of people are rushing to do the shiny hunts that uh, they didn't do on these older games and transfer them up into the newer stuff because eventually you're not going to be able to. Like, there's things like Shiny Manaphy. They're probably not going to do another event for that. That... There's, you know, like Gen 4 kind of already got remade and redone on the Switch, and they didn't do anything for that. So them doing another event for that after shiny locking all the legendaries and Scarlet and Violet and stuff, 
it's looking like a little more unlikely. So things like Jirachi, Deoxys, um, Manaphy, a lot of mythicals and stuff, right? Uh, just beat the game once and back up that copy and save file and use a save file editor to change the trainer ID and stuff. That just feels wrong, but also would be very nice. <laughs> I'll have to figure it out. It'd be cool if I could play through all of them at once with this setup, but I know that they won't stay synced. I'll be spending more time trying to get them all lined up in the same spot than... <laughs> it wouldn't save me any time, I don't think. <clears throat> Baby Pluto, I can take this save from any other game and... Uh, put it on to another cartridge, but the problem is, is it'll have the exact same trainer ID and secret ID and stuff. So I'll be getting the same, like, shiny rolls on each game. So it won't actually be working. Um, but yeah, I would have to, like, mess around with the trainer IDs and stuff if I did do something like that. I'm not, like, sure how I want to handle that yet. Like, I don't really think there's much of a reason not to do that necessarily i guess because at the end of the day you're still soft resetting you're still doing the hunts for it it's just like you're not spending 100 hours completing each game manually you you do it once on one of them and then kind of get it figured out maybe i'll have to look i'll have to see how long it takes me to do the first first clear um shiny elected very nice very nice could tell what it was when I saw it. The shiny elected. Yeah, it's, um... I don't want to say it's crazy noticeable, but it is noticeable. <laughs> I was definitely going insane during that shiny hunt, though. I, just basically like every shiny hunt, right? I'm always going insane. Pokemon Go shiny Manaphy is what I'm waiting for. That is a thing that could potentially be a, a thing. But I really don't play that much Go. And I still have the event for Shiny Jirachi, and I don't know how long it would take me to get that, but I was not even close to it with how I was playing Pokemon Go back in the day. So, eventually, I'll probably have to go back to that and, you know. But I have the, the capability to do the Jirachi hunt right now, so I guess maybe we'll just try to do this first. Did you get all those plushies in Japan? No, uh, most of them were not in Japan because those things take up a lot of space. And I really didn't want to buy a bunch of big plushies in Japan. I did buy the big uh, Ditto plush over there. But um, besides that, I didn't buy any other plushies. Oh, God. Oh, God, we're desynced now. <laughs> Sometimes these games, man, they just do not want to play ball. Oh. Oh, they're they're synced now. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I was complaining, and then it's like, all right, all right. We're good. We're good. Uh, it's the same with Manaphy eggs. You need four different. You can't just clone one egg. Yeah. Although with um, Pokemon Ranger, I know that you can. It's supposed to only be one Manaphy egg per Ranger cartridge. But with Checkpoint, you can just make it so you can keep pushing out Manaphy eggs. So I'm probably just going to get a bunch of Manaphy eggs and do it that way. Because there's just there's not enough Ranger games to, to generate the Manaphy eggs. And the eggs take so long to hatch. I think that maybe like five Manaphy eggs, boom, on each game. And then you hatch them. I know that you can transfer them between saves and stuff. I'm going to have to figure out how the heck how I'm even going to do that. I haven't even been, like, thinking about doing that hunt, though. I just, I know I have a copy of Ranger on the way, so I will eventually do that hunt. And it it sounds like it's going to be a nightmare, though. Uh, Talitha, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Uh, can't transfer my Suicune, Groudon, or Latios from Pokemon Home to Violet. Uh, why not? They're... They're able to be in that game, aren't they? Hmm. Dinomon, welcome in. It's going well. Looking for shiny Kyogre to go with my... My do Groudon. Do Groudon. Do. 
like Mountain Dew colored. Is that what you're? <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> uh, these Go Shiny missions are terrible. I have four of them and haven't finished a single one. Yeah, catching the Kecleons. I think I'm also on that. It was there were a bunch of them during that event, and now that the event's over, you never find them. <laughs> it sucks, dude. I I know. Trust me. Hunted down four ranger games with the eggs still on it and had to beat the game four times. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> that sucks. But you can still only... So what you're doing is you generate... You made the eggs and what you're doing is you're, you're making a new save. And transferring the four eggs to the new save, hatching it. If it isn't shiny, new save. And you're doing it that way, right? With the, the checkpoint way, I guess it's still tedious in a different way though because you have to reset it send the egg do you have to beat the game again though dude <laughs> beating ranger four times the thing is, is i'm gonna have to beat ranger in japanese too because <laughs> you can't transfer from english ranger to japanese games they they have to be to their specific language game <laughs> oh no <laughs> um how's the hunt alex it's going. We're uh we're getting up to odds. They're very fast with the six times uh checks because we get three three Pokemon in every single DS. So we're getting 18 checks per reset. So we get a bunch of stuff. So it's not too bad. Pr pretty chill. Um I never saw one to begin with during the event. <laughs> <laughs> they are only on like um, the pokey stops when you spin them, but you can't do it. Um, you can't do it when you're like auto spinning the stops. You have to be like actively spinning them, which I never did. I always just had the auto spinner going. Just hate the load up for soft resets and fire red leaf green. Yeah, um, where you have to check all of it's like you did this yesterday and then you did this. And then you went over here, and it's like, oh my god, just stop. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. That, like, extra step on every single reset, it adds up, too. Like, it's it's not nothing. I just saw a distortion. Hold on. Let's go get, get our guy over here. How's the luck? Insect, it is... something. We haven't found anything yet. It's fine, though. We were very under odds on Chikorita. We did find a shiny ride on in Legends, but that's not really anything. <laughs> it's a shiny, but we have about like 12 of them now from all of these fossil shiny hunts we've been doing. Hunt Manaphy with two diamonds, one pearl. It's the worst hunt I've ever started. <laughs> yeah. The, the eggs take so long in Gen 4 too. Egg cycles are the worst. <clears throat> was trying to see Chikorita in the VOD, but didn't find it. What number was it? It was like 1332, I think. It was around 1300, though. I uh, think you should do some shorts, maybe with your shinies found. Yeah, um, I actually... I think I have one going for the um, Trico that we got, but I am planning on doing more of them with these. This is just kind of a new new layout a new format for me so i've been trying to make sure that it's like it looks the way i want it to look and stuff you know uh giving you luck insect i appreciate it i will take all the luck i can get we have uh, a very efficient setup but luck helps i uh, got a shiny shadow mewtwo today very nice um, I saw that there was a Shadow Mewtwo event thing going on. I really do not play that game, but uh, there's a lot of people in the Discord who play it, and, like, I see a lot of Pokemon news. So, that's cool, though. That's a really cool shiny. It's too bad that the Shadow stuff doesn't uh, transfer if you transfer it into home, you know? Just, like, you can't even transfer them at all, right? Uh, Cranido shiny, this distortion. Sir Shicker, I hope you're correct. Yeah, that would be nice. It would be a <laughs> a shiny not in heart gold soul silver, but it would be so much more rare. 
so much rarer. That's a word, right? <laughs> yeah, that would be insane if we got that. Sir Barnabas. We've been having a lot of Barnabas appearances recently. How you doing, buddy? Um, anybody know how to tell if a mon is hacked? Realizing now my shiny 6 IV 4 and ditto might be... Yeah, probably is. Um, <clears throat> 6 IV dittos are definitely tough to find legitimately. And um, the rest of the things, though... 6 IV Pokemon are a lot easier to, to have now as shinies because of the way breeding works and passing the IVs and stuff down works. But Ditto specifically, you can't breed. So, it's a little bit tougher. Um, Cranidos, not shiny. I'm gonna grab that nugget, though. Get my dollary dues. Never noticed you got the ride on. Yeah, he's just a little guy on the board. He doesn't take up a lot of real estate. He's just a little fella. Not shiny Rowlet. One more. Ceiling can't get into membership. I appreciate you, buddy. Two cranny dose. They were really trying to make Sir Shicker's uh, prophecy come true here. I just want to see. I feel like I've seen sometimes in the same spot. We have found that specific ride on shiny uh, multiple times. Talitha, if you're if you're here. Please make sure to say thanks to uh, Ceiling Cat gifting that membership. Does not have to do that, but uh, Ceiling Cat and a lot of the other homies here in the chat definitely be gifting lots to the homies, giving people the the access to Mr. Kappa, the the real mascot of the channel. <laughs> and everybody else, make sure you're opted in exclamation gift in the chat. Otherwise, you can't get one of those. Blob doesn't want to make egg with Blob. Yeah, for some reason. They, they don't really know how to intermingle uh, amongst themselves. They're just, they're looking to hang out with other folks. <laughs> um, uh, should I keep the ditto out of home? It's my Masuda, Masuda daddy. <laughs> Honestly, for me, I don't really care about IVs. What I did was I just made a save on a different profile that was in Japanese and caught a bunch of dittos in Scarlet and Violet. Like, the IVs for me don't matter at all because you can just get bottle caps. And if you get a shiny and you want it to be perfect, just make it perfect, you know? But yeah, I wouldn't send that into home. You probably won't have any issues with it if you got it in a trade, but like, I personally wouldn't. I would probably get rid of it if it was me, but that's, you know, we all gonna make our own calls. <laughs> and if you need help getting a, a Masuda Ditto, there's also a code that you can trade with where you will for sure get, well, most of the time, get somebody who's in a different, like, region. You just want to do it really late at night or really early, and there's a good chance you connect with somebody else, and you just trade a Ditto of your language to them, and you'll get a Masuda a bull Ditto. That's a word. Masuda Ubble. <laughs> um, yeah. It's just, uh, it's tough, you know. The thing is, is Pokemon at these events is even flagging not hacked stuff as, as hacked and DQing people and stuff. So, I mean, there's only so much we can do. <laughs> Have you ever done any Gen 2 hunts? No. I've never done any actual shiny hunting in actual Gen 2. This is kind of Gen 2, but not like the, the OG. I really would like to do some crystal hunts. I just don't have like a great way to do that on stream right now. Eventually. Potent potables. What is that from? I I remember this. <laughs> Potent potables. Potables. <laughs> I don't remember what this is from, but I remember that being on like a sign or something. Uh, got a reproduction soul silver and leaf green for 35 bucks. I'm for it. You know, honestly, most people are probably not going to have a terrible time with that. The only thing I would say, back up your saves frequently. 
because uh, they are known to uh, kind of freak out and delete saves randomly. But as long as you're all backed up, you're good to go. I wouldn't stress it too much. Some people get really bent out of shape with those uh, reproduction cartridges. Dude, I, if it's a deal and you're just trying to play those games, that's fine. I also, honestly, Nintendo isn't selling them. And this is on them for being stupid, but flash carts are fine too. I Honestly, I feel like people shiny hunting on those, it doesn't make it any less legitimate. Like, it's, it's just for you and whatever anyways, right? Like, uh, I, I wouldn't let that stop you just because people on the internet are being loud and angry about it. Just so we're clear. I bought a bunch of Japanese copies just because, you know, YouTube bucks. But we don't, we don't all got that going on, right? And, dude, AliExpress flashcards are like five bucks. <laughs> have every Pokemon game ever on that. <laughs> um... Did you know that Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are Gen 7 games? Yes, they are. They have Mega Evolutions in them. Um, They're pretty cool games. I, I was a fan of Let's Go and Gen 7, so it makes sense. All things that I like. Um, Just has to not read. My chances are good. What happened here? Hold on. Message retracted. What'd you say? I, I did I do not read. It's it's something that happens a lot. <laughs> what what happened here? Game companies only want to sell new products even though old games will, will sell today. It really makes no sense. I just I don't feel like it's competing with their new products like they think that it would be. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It, it is really it does not make sense to me. Nintendo has never really understood how the internet and modern things worked, I feel like. They've always been kind of behind on that. Breeze. No, it looks like it's good right now. Is the stream good for everybody? Call him last message. Shirk. Um, I don't even see it. Did you see what happened to me today in Go by chance? I did not. I did not shirk. Um, I'm not like super active in the Go channel. I know a lot of other mods and stuff are in there. Specifically, Mel is a big Go appreciator. <laughs> you need to do, do more Gen 5 hunts. The sprites are beautiful. I am planning on it. It's just, you know, I have so many now. So many things, so little time. The, the problem is, is I'll want to do the starter hunts first, probably. And then I'll have to get my clears. I'm probably going to get it set up to where I have a save at each soft resettable thing. And I'm going to have to do a playthrough of it. It's going to be tough for Gen 5 because I've never played through Gen 5. And um, it's going to all be in Japanese. <laughs> so <laughs> that's going to be a learning experience for you, boy. I know a little bit of Japanese, not enough to actually play through this game and understand what the heck is going on, though. <laughs> if companies made their stuff cheaper, it would get bought more often. Yeah, I get that there's a certain... There's a break point for that, for sure, for them, though. Like, at a certain point, they would rather sell less and get the, the higher profit margins, right? Because I don't know what the what the numbers are on that right like they could potentially sell more but eventually the price will maybe go down nintendo stuff never never goes down though it's crazy there are games that are still 60 bucks man <laughs> like old old games let's go was enjoyable not as good as fire red but it was definitely more visually pleasing than bdsp yeah um jalissa i appreciate you gifted a membership um, Let's Go was just a very different kind of game. I will say it was the most beautiful Pokemon game ever, I think. Like, 3D-wise and everything, the graphics were amazing. Every Pokemon had a custom, like, in the, in the overworld sprite, you could ride a bunch of them. Like, it was just fantastic. It was a beautiful game. And they were all shiny in the overworld, too. It was awesome. Um, Alex. If you're in here, make sure you say thanks. That is a free gifted membership for you. Access to Mr. Kappa. 
Everybody else get some pay buttons. And Mr. Cap is in the chat. I have a distortion over here. Hold on. Let's get this going. Uh, let's go definitely dig following Pokemon right. Yeah. That's the other thing with Heart Gold Soul Silver. They have the following Pokemon and the shiny sprites. Like, it's such an easy thing. Just, just make it happen. <laughs> um, lots of Let's Go appreciators in here. I'm glad to see that you guys aren't haters on it because I feel like that game got a lot of um, unjust hatred towards it because it was different, right? I'm trying not to fly out of this distortion. All right, we're good. Um, people didn't like it because it was very different, and that's fair, I guess. If you didn't like the catching mechanic, whatever, but um, I feel like it did a lot of things right, and it's easy to just look at it and be like, ah, it's just Pokemon Go, this sucks. But uh, it really was more than that. It had some, some interesting stuff. think that if they introduced like gen 3 with a 60 bucks price they would still sell it uh i really wish they wouldn't do that but yeah they would dude emerald in english is like 200 dollars, <laughs> just like loose so i know for sure people would pay the the 60 bucks for the gen 3 stuff if they just put the the roms on a cartridge like that or just sold it as a digital only thing people would buy it that would be just scumbag move though <laughs> what 60 bucks that'd be brutal but people would buy it they definitely would uh no wild battling sucked other than that great game you you like wild battling like i felt like having the wild encounters be catches and the trainer battles be battles was actually a really cool way of separating it because wild battles are usually just tedious like nowadays it's easier with um experience share and stuff but dude it it is not hard to ko 500 of a pokemon and get experience on uh, all of your team it's just like a time waster basically so to me having it be catches is uh it just made a lot of sense it really streamlined the flow of running around completing your decks like it really pushed you towards doing that and i like that because in a lot of games you don't really have to do that they don't really push you towards that it's like hey you can catch these things and you'll catch things for your your team and if you find a shiny or something but a lot of times i know a lot of people just blitz through the game they aren't catching anything and me personally i know i'm gonna get the charm so i'm catching every new thing i see but <laughs> i know a lot of people it's just like why would i do this why would i spend the time on this Already at 5,500 soft reset for Kyogre, not bad. Yeah, you're doing the 10 times, right? Uh, personally think it's the best game on the Switch. Ooh, that is a that is a hot take right there. I, you know, I really like Let's Go. I think Sword and Shield probably is my best Pokemon game on Switch though. It just has so much. The DLC with Crown Tundra and everything, so many shiny legendaries, so many options to shiny hunt in that. Uh, in retrospect, it was a very pretty looking game, despite people really hating on the N64 trees. <laughs> uh, you miss the wild battles. Don't enjoy the motion controls. Yeah, the motion controls are kind of, you know, I I'm not like a big proponent of the motion controls. Here we go. Third or fourth? Fourth, I think. Space time distortion. Here we go. Dartrix, not shiny. Uh, Cranidos, not shiny. Shield on, not shiny. Get me out of here, bro. Um, we're at least getting through these pretty quick. Getting a lot of resets real quick. We're getting a lot of, uh, a lot of space-time distortions in a reasonable amount of time. They're not fast. But they're fast as far as space-time distortions are concerned, anyways. Uh, oh, Legends. Legends. I wasn't even thinking about it. Legends is my favorite Switch Pokemon game. I don't even know what the heck I'm saying, dude. Legends. Like, 100% not even close. I really like Sword and Shield, though. Another game that I think got a lot of hate early on, and I was one of them. I was one. I skipped Sword and Shield after Gen 7. I was like, this is stupid. Skip. 
and then I played it after playing Scarlet and Violet. So I kind of went, or I, I played it after playing Legends. And then I went back to Sword and Shield, and it was sweet. <laughs> the story isn't great, but it had a lot of things, a lot of shiny hunting options. Full Metal, I got good news for you. We are going to be getting more shiny Chikoritas, so just make sure you're around for the next one. You, you got plenty of time to see another one. <laughs> uh, getting some Cajun fried rice, you love to see it. Enjoy your rice. Grab the iron chunk, please. I It's there for good luck. I'm not moving it. We're leaving it be. <laughs> How do we join the Calm Cultists? James, it is a, uh, a higher tier membership that costs more money. So you're supporting the channel a little bit more by uh, doing the cultist tier just financially. You get a little shout out at the end of stream. That's pretty much pretty much it, though. So is OK, we're good. It's just for the people who are uh, able to do it, they can support a little bit at a higher level. It is a lot of money. <laughs> but uh, to change, if you're in a uh, membership, to change what level you're at, you just have to go to the membership like perks tab and you can change what, what level you're at. But if you have a gifted membership, you can't adjust it. I think you have to wait for the, uh, the gifty to run out, I'm pretty sure. I don't think you can upgrade it. I'm pretty sure on that. I'm not actually sure how that works because I can't get gifted memberships because I'm on a brand account. I can't validate these things. I'm pretty sure that's a thing, though. Did you see what I said, Ashton? I did not. I have two copies of one heart gold and one soul silver. Guess I'll join your hunt, Ashton. Do it. These uh, shiny starters aren't bad. Hello, Kiwi Cat. How you doing? Who's your favorite PLA character? Uh, I don't know. Who's my favorite PLA character? Arcus? <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel like I have like a super favorite character in that game. Um, The red haired barber girl, maybe? She's all right. She's not bad. She was kind of a homie. Jewel, one month. Who's your favorite? Oh. I did you ask this twice or am I just insane? I'm losing my mind. Either way, I answered. The red-haired barber girl whose name I do not know. That tells you how much I'm like, how, how close we are. <laughs> um, the Calm Cultist membership comes with a bit of insanity as well. Yes, it does. You get to share a portion of this. The, uh, the insanity rattling around up there. I appreciate all of you guys taking a, your fair share. <laughs> can confirm cultists are being scammed which is why i'm counted among them exactly it's all a big big scam the tax it's not a tax write-off it is a, a taxable taxable source of income <laughs> i do appreciate you guys though all y'all hooking your boy up helping out with all the the stream things white 2 is epic haven't played it haven't played any Gen 5 game. Um, you can upgrade it. I did when I switched from a gifted uh, to the tier I'm in for memberships. Hmm. Um, I didn't realize you could do that. I mean, I guess it makes sense that you'd be able to... It's just like kind of discounted, I guess, right? Like, if you're already in one tier of the membership, are you just paying what the difference is to get to the next tier for that month? So you got like the three bucks off. I don't even know how that works. <laughs> uh, does Perrin count? Um, no, she wasn't in that game. <laughs> That's a Adam on. So you, you're an Adam on Stan. Is there anybody else super cool in Legends? Like, I feel like the characters weren't really the thing I was that interested in in, the, in those games. It was more the the whole deal going on. Maybe Volo. Volo's pretty cool, actually. Maybe Volo. I'm changing my answer to Volo. 
We may be cultists, but it's not a cult. That sounds like something a cult member would say. <laughs> Container of Eggs, welcome back. Um, who's your favorite legendary? Hmm, that's tough. Latios, I think. It's it's tough. There's a lot of good ones. Latios is really good though, and I really like it shiny too. Well, bummer. Yeah. Well, I, you know what? In your heart of hearts, you know who your favorite is. If you say Perrin, who am I to tell you no? How do you hit all the screens at once? I, I'm just very, very fast. I reach my hand over here. This is me going in slow-mo. And I just go boom, 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 boom. I have a wireless controller mod. I soldered it in to uh, each of my DS lights. And I have a special cartridge on my GBA that I'm using. Whenever I push a button on the GBA, it goes to the, uh, the DS's. Exclamation set up in the chat if you want to see how that is. I'm going to make a video on this. A lot of people are interested in it, and I like that. I like the, that people are down with it. The Latios Latios GBA console is one of the best consoles of all time. There's a Latios Latios GBA? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Huh. Was it an SP or was it like an old school, like, OG model GBA? I don't think I've seen that one. My favorite legendary Pokemon is Perry the Platypus. There it is. <laughs> uh, we don't, we don't define it as a cult. Just a bit of insanity party. A, a bit of an insanity party. It is an insanity party. For better or for worse. <laughs> um, favorite Ultra Beast in the Lego. Yeah, I think. That might not be my favorite shiny, though. Guzzlord's pretty dang good. <laughs> Guzzlord is a very spicy Ultra Beast shiny. Pokemon Center Japan exclusive. Let me look at this thing. Favorite mythical. That one's really tough. I think that... Um, Latios, Latios, GBA... I think that <clears throat> it's pretty close the tie between Mew, Celebi, and Jirachi. Like, they're all pretty much at the same tier for me. Huh. So it's half red, half blue, this GBA. And it has a Latios and a Latios on the bottom part of the screen. I don't know, I've never seen this. I probably just saw it and thought that it was like a, like a custom thing. And it isn't really red. It's kind of like a pinkish, almost, instead of like red, red. Hmm. Neato. Interesting stuff. Any Pokemon fans have to play Legends Arcus? All Pokemon fans, you mean? They, they all have to play it? I mean, I... I feel like it was a pretty well-received game. Most of them played it, right? Most of the Pokemon people. I feel like it got a lot of people back into Pokemon, actually. Because it, it was like that with me. I was kind of done with Pokemon until Legends came out. Then I, I was back into it. All the other cultists are delusional. We are definitely a cult. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> um... Arcanine's my favorite legendary. He is the legendary Pokemon, after all. He was on that sign with the legendary birds in the anime. And they said, eh, never mind. He's not actually legendary. Uh, what do you use to increase the encounter number? It's like a certain program. It is, in fact, a certain program. It is called Auto Shiny Counter. Um, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, works well. And the person who makes it is really cool. They still like actively supported i had to reach out to them for an issue with counting up by big numbers like i'm doing right now it wasn't working for me so uh yeah they told me how to manually set it up and it was done and done real quick uh it sold less copies than bdsp it's basically the same the amount of it right and that released at the exact same time as bdsp they're they're really close aren't they 
And remember, there's like two copies of BDSP. So those numbers are like a little inflated too. But uh, they're looking at the total numbers. Like it doesn't matter to them. But uh, last time I checked, I thought they were pretty close. Not sure if Legends is hype. Uh, it is hype. It is my favorite Pokemon game on the Switch. It's a good time. Love Faramosa. I just think she's cool. Yeah. And when she's shiny, she's a, a roach with pants. <laughs> it's a, it's not the worst shiny, not the best shiny. It's your favorite Gen 2 water ground type whose name begins with Q. Quagsire's pretty cool. He's a, a cool fella. Quampert, there it is. <laughs> Did you know in Pogo, I got my third shiny bronze ore today at my local, local Kringos. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but, um, neat. Enjoy your bronze ore. Okay, well, we're just going to be desync. Oh, okay, never mind. We're synced up again. <laughs> I'm really having issues with these desyncs, but I guess we're, we're figuring it out. Uh, I really hope ZA is just an improved successor. Yeah, I mean, um, me too. I hope they don't mess with too much. I just want a more, like, Legends game with more stuff. Maybe like 400 Pokemon. Maybe some more. Maybe have some DLC. You know, like, I just, I want more Legends. More Endgame. The only thing about regular Legends was... There were only 240 Pokemon. I feel like 400 would be a nice number because it does take a long time to complete the decks to get the charm and stuff. But dude, I'm kind of down for the grind. I, I like to have a little bit more end game with that. Alphas give you a lot of end game for like shiny hunting and stuff. So um, yeah, but I think just more Pokemon variety would really go a long way in Legends. And this has the potential to have that, right? So... Uh, Fox, welcome in. The Kalos Pokedex was 450. Um, there's hope. <laughs> Gonna be City Builder where you play as Pokemon rebuilding a town after the war. No, 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 no. We're not gonna, we're not gonna will this into existence. <laughs> we're gonna make sure we get a very good Legends game. The successor that we, we want and need. That's what it's going to be. We're not going to have a, a nightmare and they're like, oh, by the way, this is a resource management game now. <clears throat> if it has Quagsire, you're buying immediately. I mean, there's a decent chance. A decent chance of Quagsire. Are they going to have all the Hisui forms, I wonder? They're probably going to be transferable at least, right? Like... I feel like they gotta have something with that, some kind of integration. If they sabotage Legends to make the main series look better, they said that Legends was a main series game. They're on the record as saying that. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what the um, what they think Legends is. I don't think that they feel the need to to harm one thing to try to make another thing look better. I would hope not. That's not a good business strategy. Let me just listen to Papa Calm here. Not a good business strategy. My uncle is John Nintendo. He would never. <laughs> um, I will take your two biggest scoops of legends, please. That's me. That is me, in fact. Although Kalos had a huge dex, there were only like 72 new Pokemon. Yeah, it was like the smallest number of new Pokemon in a generation, right? I'm pretty sure Gen 6 was that. Um, which, you know what? Like, Gen 6 was pretty good. I don't feel like I need over 100 new Pokemon every generation. They've got enough Pokemon that like, if they just focused on more cool new ideas and maybe like forms of existing stuff, I think that would be valid too. Like, that'd be fine. Just make cool stuff with what you got. You don't got to keep making ugly new stuff all the time. You can make a, a selection, you know, like a, a little assortment 
have some re some regional stuff done and done. Right? I, I think that works. They've been leaning a little bit more into that recently too, right? They've been doing a lot of regional stuff, um, forms, things like that. And I, I think that that's cool. Not a bad thing. Um, Papa Calm, there it is. <laughs> Think the city will be split into five quadrants like the different areas in Arcus. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to do it because they said it all takes place in the city. There's got to be something, some kind of transporter, some kind of something that gets you into different regions or areas because like ice and fire and water and just like there's no way that's all in one city, right? There's got to be some shenanigans going on there. We'll see how they do it because it, yeah. It's not just going to be everything's wild in the city, I don't think. I don't know. The Them announcing this game was just completely out of left field. Nobody was expecting that. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It could just, I guess, be all in one city. Who knows? Uh, Shesra, welcome in. Imagine a Pokemon survival like Minecraft. Um, where you're, like, building a base and stuff. I don't I mean, it's kind of weird to think about it but like a lot of people were talking about breath of the wild pokemon for a long time and that's kind of what legends seemed like at the time dude i saw the chikorita at the bottom left and i thought i had a shiny of something because it looked all different it desynced mid check <laughs> these games are trolling me dude <laughs> did we ever get the torchic we did in fact uh we got it i the stream if you ever go back to the vods it is labeled like it has the we found shiny torchic it has the thumbnail and stuff for it but um yeah it's like fourteen thousand something resets i like the divergent mons in gen 9 yeah kind of same thing right like kind of a regional variant kind of its own deal but um yeah they use an existing design and they just kind of kind of riff off of that you know don't know which one you're trying to find but i'm looking for chikorita I already have a Chikorita, but I'm kind of looking for any of them because we're eventually going to do a Living Dex in this. So, the only thing I have in Heart Gold Soul Silver so far is one Chikorita. Uh, Pokemon Wilds is Minecraft for Pokemon. That uh, fan game thing, right? It's like 2D. It um, looked kind of interesting. There's a lot of really interesting looking uh, fan games for Pokemon. And... It's tough for me because, like, it's hard for me to want to spend a ton of time in the unofficial stuff. But there are some really cool ideas that people come up with. And, like, one specifically that I really, really liked was uh, Pokemon Emerald Rogue. If you guys have ever played that one before. It's just, like, self-contained runs of Pokemon where you go to certain paths. Oh, we got a distortion. And um, a really cool idea. I just felt like it really worked with Pokemon, and it was basically like a little, almost self-contained Nuzlocke, you know? And, um, really cool idea, something I think Pokemon will never do, but it just, it really does some different things with the, the formula that we all know. And I think it would be cool if Pokemon kind of leaned into some of that, and they were like, they gave us some modes for some of this, for the people who are their their biggest potential supporters right the content creators and stuff give them like a maybe a nuzlocke mode some of these things that uh, these other games offer it would be such an easy thing to get more people making stuff that's free advertisement for them but we know that they've sometimes been a little uh dumb about these things taking down videos and <laughs> they just don't get the internet man we found the shiny torchic not clickbait yeah it's true asterisk <laughs> nintendo thinking they can pull a fast one on the grandmaster they saw through it there is no fooling the grandmaster what do they do how'd they try to fool the grandmaster the heck happened <laughs> emerald rogue is so good yeah it's awesome I really like it. That's my favorite ROM hack I've ever played. 
Uh, hope you get the boy, no matter which starter they are. Hoping things are well, Daniel. They are going well. And hope things are going going well for you as well. I know there's been some, some changes recently. <laughs> hope things are, are going smooth. It's not too crazy. Hopefully you're getting some sleep. I know that it's, uh, it's hectic. <laughs> but welcome in, buddy. Currently trying to get all the cells for Zygarde and Sun. Two away from 100 parts. Um, is Zygarde shiny locked in Sun? Is it? Do you know, guys? I thought that Sun and Moon and X and Y, you couldn't get shiny Zygarde. I thought that Sword and Shield was the first game you could get a shiny. Do you guys know on that? I finished Emerald Rogue so quick. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a cool idea, right? I don't, I never beat it, beat it, I don't think. <laughs> but it was a, a cool idea, and that's the thing, is beat is um, relative with a roguelike, right? Like, if you enjoy the, the gameplay loop, you can still play it, even if you've played through it. I mean, I played Isaac a lot. <laughs> even though I've seen all the, the endings and all the things, like... There's still a lot of clears to get with other characters and this and that. There's always, like, something to do, right? So it's kind of the same deal, but I, I get what you're saying. And these are usually, like, independent, just, like, one person or small teams. So, you know, they can't do too, too much. Uh, I played weird Pokemon games in free and virusful websites like Emerald Kaizo full of viruses emerald kaizo is legit right x and y you can't um what about sun and moon specifically pokemon za the grandmaster was telling me it's a legends game in kalos um that will create pizza memes for months before pokemon day oh, you're not okay with the the pizza memes come on everybody loves pizza all right cranny dose not shiny Um, another cranny dose not shiny. There it is. I, he didn't spawn very loudly. It was quiet. There should be another one right here too. One more. Another cranny dose not shiny. Uh, we didn't aggro. He's blue. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, guys. Losing it. See some people unlock it and hunt it, which is pretty cool. Um, no shiny Zygarde, that is. Sad, sad times. Uh, 7,000 soft resets for shiny Kyogre. You're getting up to odds. I really want to get that shiny whale. I told you guys, that is the first shiny hunt I ever did. I specifically was soft resetting for it as a kid. I really, really wanted to get that shiny Kyogre. Uh, I thought the pink whale was hilarious. Um, to get the, the god of the ocean in bright pink. Uh, it never happened. My little ape brain, when I was younger, just couldn't do it. Couldn't get through it. <laughs> what about croissants? What about them? I'm a big fan of croissants. Never said I wasn't down with pizza memes, uh, but I just knew it was coming like last year. I gotcha. <laughs> you don't like the Zaw Man? Come on. <laughs> I'm here for it. Any any spicy memes, I'm here for it. This has probably already been asked, but how are you controlling all six DSs at once? Commodore! Exclamation setup if you want to see like links to everything. I have wireless controller mods that I soldered into each of the uh, DSs. I have a GBA that has a special cartridge that like transmits whenever I push a button. Goes to all of the consoles. So that's how it works. Um... Emulator sites are really risky right now. Like, more so than usual? Why is that? <laughs> um, is this shiny hunting STDs while shiny hunting Harkold Soul Silver starters? It is, in fact. STDs is a very unfortunate acronym, but it is correct. <laughs> Distortion. Yeah, I already went to that one. I was already there. We're waiting for it to go away. Yeah, Commodore, it's it's pretty cool. It wasn't too bad. Like it you do have to have some skills to to solder them in, but um in my exclamation setup 
uh, guide thing if you do it in the chat. I have somebody who's kind of a, a homie of the channel who I reached out to with a couple questions when I was installing these myself, and he does the installs as a service too. And he was telling me it's, it's pretty reasonable for what he, he charges for that. So if you guys decide you want a crazy setup like this, that is also <laughs> an option. He like has them in stock and he does the soldering and stuff for you. Um, I guess Citra or the Switch emulator got recently shut down. Yeah, I mean, that it doesn't necessarily make the other stuff like more or less sketchy than it already was. Like that really, the, the issue with Yuzu and Citra, they, I don't know if you guys knew, like the reason that they specifically got shut down that like most people were talking about was because they had a Patreon and dude, they were making money. They were like making 70,000 a month. <laughs> and that obviously like for a, a company to have a real lawsuit against somebody and you don't have to have actual legal ground to sue somebody just so you know, but for, for them to have an actual lawsuit, they have to have some like quantifiable way to show that this has affected the amount of money that they would have got in some regard, right? And dude, 70,000 a month, it, it was a lot. It was huge, the number that they had from people subbing to the, the Patreon to get like the builds of Yuzu and stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> they had some, some big months on old Yuzu. And they're the same team, I think, right? It's Citra and Yuzu were all like by the same group, I think. So I, I don't know if that was all like a total of everything like between both of them or not. Um, <laughs> Shiny Piplup, at least the lake at the lake without soft reset at the lake without soft reset in which game just flying over. Oh, so you're in Legends. Citra devs shifted to Yuzu. There you go. Yeah. So it was like the same team, basically. I remember them being like associated. And that's what people were kind of bummed out on the 3DS side because a lot of people shifted to Yuzu. And then Citra kind of got put on the back burner a little bit, you know, which is too bad. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. So there was another thing. There was a video that I watched on this. And um. I watch a lot of stuff for like console modding and hacking and stuff like that just because it's interesting to me, you know, but um, there was one thing where this guy was running Linux on a switch, which Nintendo obviously doesn't want you to do. <laughs> They're not happy about that. He was running Linux on a switch and then running Yuzu in Linux on the switch and Minecraft ran better in Yuzu running through Linux on a switch than on the switch directly. <laughs> which is just the stupidest worst thing ever just showing like how poorly optimized all of the the back end <laughs> of the switch performances compared to like if you could just have a bunch of time in all the yuzu devs the, it was just running so much better on the the yuzu running through an additional layer it's insane <laughs> Um, what has been your most favorite shiny hunt you have done? Mm, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I really liked the, um, Scarlet and Violet Living Deck stuff that we did. I know that the game didn't run well, but those were really exciting streams. Good times for the channel. Like, lots of new people. We had crazy nights where we had, like, six, seven, eight hundred people concurrently in the chat. It was insanity. It's not a, as chill of a vibe as it is right now, but uh, <laughs> we had some crazy nights. I have a lot of nostalgia for Scarlet and Violet. I know it's still not like that old, but the the early days of Scarlet and Violet. Made a goal for yourself, an entire box of Piplup line shinies in PLA. You're at 8 out of 30. Get in there. <laughs> um... Say the most random Pokemon you can think of. Um, Quillfish. Pretty random, right? How about Drampa? I'm trying to think of the weirdo stuff. 
What's the, the weirdest, most forgettable Pokemon? It's usually like a one-off evolution thing. Kecleon's pretty good. Cast form. How about cast form? Another kind of weird one. There's a lot of them that don't really get a lot of love. Tortuga. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Spinarak. Spinarak's a homie. What are you talking about? We're going to be shiny hunting Spinarak at some point too. When we get through these Gen 2 things. We're eventually going to be doing some random encounter stuff too. The lipstick pizza fish. Ugh. Yuck, but yes. Maractus, Carvana. The um, Carvana has such a good shiny. It is so spicy. Did you guys hear the dog toy squeak like a minute ago, by the way? I didn't see anybody mention it. We adjusted the noise cancellation, so I'm just trying to see if it's working better or worse or what. You did? Okay. It was really loud. It was like as close as it could be. <laughs> I would be surprised if it uh, canceled that out with how loud it is. <coughs> uh, a Loma Mola Mola, yeah. Why doesn't Love Disc evolve into that? I feel like it just makes sense that it would evolve into it. It's very strange that it doesn't. And not that I'm like hurt that it doesn't evolve into it, you know? It just seems like a weird, weird thing that they decided not to do for no reason. I'm a Bruxish ap apologist. That is very difficult to say. Say Bruxish apologist three times fast. This is all of you idiots saying that out loud right now. I heard you all. You all messed it up. Don't you be pretending like you said it right. Have you? There's this. Um, there's this short or TikTok or whatever it is that. Um, it's Cell from Dragon Ball Z. And you send it to one of your friends and it's the Cell with the beak. And he says, you. Yeah, you. With those dry old lips. No, no, no. Don't go licking them now. <laughs> it is one of my favorite stupid videos. And I make sure to link it to my friends whenever I find it. It, it's been making the rounds, but that ugly cell, the, the like first form cell. <laughs> if any of my Dragon Ball Z fans are here, it, I don't know why it's him specifically. <laughs> I said it correctly in my mind. No, no, no. It's easy to say it correctly in your mind. That's not, not legit. <laughs> um, I'm Bruxish's cosmetologist. Bruxish is just kind of already a difficult name to say, at least for me. It's, you know, I, I don't really English, but this doesn't really count as English either. It's, it's something else. <laughs> no, I messed it up in my mind. Yes, yes. Very good. <laughs> the, yeah. Cell with the beak. Cell was a weird looking dude, man. I, I guess as he should be, right? He shouldn't just be a, a beautiful, handsome man. The bug o -cell, yeah, he he's definitely a, a creature. And you know what? That was one of my favorite times of, of anime and stuff as a lad. I was into Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! All around that, like, Cell Saga kind of time. I don't know that I could go back and watch it today. Because it really does drag drag on but uh yeah <laughs> do you speak much spanish poquito not really no i i literally know bad words and um random stupid things so i can make my wife angry it's basically all the spanish i need to know uh, just enough to make my wife mad by saying dumb things <laughs> um first form cell that's the first one right that's before he got any of the androids i'm pretty sure that's that's the first one because he uh he turned into kind of the buff one with the weird lips 
If you haven't seen Dragon Ball Z, this must sound very weird. He turned into the buff one with the kind of weird lips, and then he turned into kind of the, the handsome Squidward cell. <laughs> Do you have a bad fear? Are there good fears? Bad fear. I mean, I feel like my, my biggest fear is the, like, fear of the abyss or the unknown or whatever, like getting lost at sea or in space. Both of those sound terrible to me. Um, that's like the thing that gets me, the like, the existential dread of being out in the middle of nowhere where, you know, that's spooky stuff. Plus, out in space and in the ocean, both have equal chance, maybe not equal, but a chance of some weird thing showing up, <laughs> you know, some aliens, maybe a big sea monster. It's crazy how much of the ocean we have not like actually charted out and explored like underneath and everything. It's, it's hard to, uh, to get down there and see what the heck's going on. Don't know what's going on down there, man. Did Julissa grow up speaking English? She grew up. She grew up. Did I grow up speaking English? I don't know, dude. <laughs> I, I have no idea at this point. Um, <laughs> what's going on with that other game? What the heck? Um. Anyways, she grew up uh, speaking Spanish. She was born in Mexico. And then, uh, yeah, she moved over here when she was younger. So she has spoke English for a lot of her life, but she grew up first speaking Spanish. My biggest fear, Sneasel's going extinct. Yeah, that's a scary thought. <laughs> My wife and I joke that I am Senor Peggy Hill because I try to make Spanish sound correct, but it's not. So you're the, you're the one that's saying gracias at the, the Mexican restaurant, huh? <laughs> you're that one, huh? That's okay. Uh, it's o it's okay. They appreciate it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> They're like, oh my god. Um, the opposite of claustrophobic. Yeah, I guess something like that. Although I wouldn't like to be in like a small, just enclosed space like that either. See, that's the thing. If you're in space or like out in the ocean it's also kind of a claustrophobic deal because you're you're locked in this weird spacecraft or in a little boat uh, it's kind of both did not expect calm ocean lore tonight yeah no we're getting into it <laughs> we don't want to upset the megalodon no we do not big shark maybe a kraken <laughs> i'm catching up on chat calm calm grow up what what did i say <laughs> What? I did. I don't think I said anything to deserve that. Not towards Ceiling Cat, at least. <laughs> uh, some may say 11:30 p.m. is too late to make chicken nuggets, but I'm hungry and I'm cool. So you're gonna make some chicken nuggets. Uh, you know what? I can appreciate the devotion to the nuggies. Enjoy. Uh, how did you and Julissa meet? Call me. I don't know if I want to say. Is that an anime convention? <laughs> it was a very special time in my life. I was at a Smash tournament, and she was uh, doing some cosplay stuff. The rest is history. He was a boy, she was a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? <laughs> um, a random person. We'll see you around. Thanks for hanging out. My big fear is when I am shampooing my hair and open my eyes, something will be standing there. Yeah, I I think we all get that occasionally, right? The There's somebody in the room feeling, right? <laughs> Midnight Nuggies, which is also the name of Electric Diaper's new single. We, we have such a backlog at this point. There's, there's such a, an assortment of good names. <clears throat> the calls are coming from inside the house. They are, in fact. They are, in fact. We're getting close to odds, guys. 
We're at 7,600. I haven't been looking at the number super often. It's crazy. Whenever I look over there, we've already done a thousand more. We've only been going for two hours. We have almost 4,000 resets in two hours. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We're flying through these. Absolutely flying. Um, I'm looking real close at the Toto Dials because I'm still not positive. I know the blue is different, but, you know. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know if this, um, with us going up by 18 every reset, if it's going to exactly hit the odds number or not. If anybody cares to do the math on that, I don't expect you to, but yeah, I don't know if we're going to land exactly on it or not. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The, um... I don't feel like I have a ton of scary, like, like, when am I going to be in outer space? When am I going to be in the, in the middle of the ocean? You know, like, I think about how that would really suck, but like, it's irrational. It's never going to happen. You know, I hope <laughs> it's just like, man, this seems like this would be the worst possible scenario for you, boy. Real fears. I don't know that I really have a ton like that of anything that's rational, but fears usually aren't rational, right? I don't really like uh, the airplane deal a lot. Like, I have to fly to Japan for an extended period of time, and after a certain point, you just like, you're like, whatever. If it happens, it happens. But that's something that I feel like is a little more real, at least, especially with <laughs> the things we've been seeing lately on the planes. <laughs> The, the Boeing stock and everything. Uh, Toto Dial's fins will be blue instead of red. Yeah. Yeah, I've been looking at the spikes, but I know the body blue is also different. I'll miss my joke. Big Sag. Hold, I'll scroll up just for you. Grassy A. Oh, wait, can't finish that. Oot. Oh. I, I see what you're saying. You're, you're doing a little Spanish joke. Is that, am I missing something here besides the, the rest of it? Hold on, I'm scrolling up. And no, I think that's pretty much it. I, <laughs> I got all the components here. Can I just push select? Um, I think this should get me synced up. Hold on, uh, sorry, I'm looking at the screens. All right, we're good. We're synced. It's kind of tough when these desync, and I don't want to check them while I'm desynced, you know? You want to make sure we're checking efficiently. My biggest fear is blasting off again. Well, as long as you don't join Team Rocket, you're going to be fine. You're fine. <laughs> Can somebody tell me the point of the resets? Bruce... We're looking for a shiny. What do you mean? The resets are to try to find the shiny starter. And it will show if it's shiny here in the menu before we even pick it. So we will know as soon as we have one. I'm scared of the dark, so I sleep with the TV or computer on. I mean, I guess I'm also sleeping with a TV or computer on all the time. I don't know if it's specifically because of that, though. <laughs> but honestly, I think that's a more valid concern than being in outer space. <laughs> Realistically, it's like, oh God, there's somebody out there, you know? <laughs> yeah, Sir Shaker, you know, I'm following it. I got, I got a 401k. <laughs> Don't like heights, snakes. Oh, here's my other um, kind of phobia thing. I hate like IVs. I cannot stand it. Uh, like getting shots and stuff. Needles are fine, but IVs specifically, it just freaks me out. Having something go inside of my vein. Uh, it is very stressful and I do not like it. No, sir. That's my, I guess my real thing. Hate it. Vlad Schwartz, you heading out. We'll see you around. Thanks for hanging. <laughs> um, Real talk, though, needles. Yeah, uh, ceiling cat, that is that is a fair, fair point. 
Oh, God. I'm, these are going to have to be desynced here. Um, hold on. I can resync these. Boom. All right, we're good. It just always takes a second. I have to really think about it when I'm resyncing these. What did I walk into? HC, we're just, you know, having a discussion as usual. Random discussion while we're looking for shinies. Um, I'm on Birth Island. Birth Island. The heck is Birth Island? <laughs> oh, that's the Deoxys Island. It's called Birth Island? That's a weird name for the Deoxys Island. Birth Island. Um... All right, we were desynced, but it's fine. Very worst part of surgery is the IV, yeah. I mean, that's basically the main thing, and then you're out, right? Is it buffering, or is it just my McDonald's Wi-Fi? I don't see any drop frames or anything, so I am going to say McDonald's Wi-Fi, but, I, you know, we've had issues. You need IVs for boosting your Pokemon stat. Team, team up, I see you. I see you with your dad jokes. <laughs> um, so no tattoos for you non-needle friends I don't have a tattoo and I, I don't know I wonder if I would have issues with that or not like I don't really have issues with shots and stuff but like a tattoo seems like it maybe wouldn't like I don't feel like I have a, a fear about that but maybe when I'm <laughs> when I'm sitting there and it's starting to happen maybe I would change my tune I don't know I have never had a tattoo before, though. First time joining in uh, for a starter hunt. Can someone explain the setup? Um, <laughs> jazz! Exclamation setup in the chat if you want details. But I have a special cartridge that transmits the controls to all of those DSs. They have a special board that I soldered into all of them. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, have one tattoo never again William it was that bad huh <laughs> my dad has had a few tattoos every time he went to get them he has um, had issues it, they've never been fully finished I think he's passed out before during those and I just I wonder if genetically if I've inherited that there's a chance because <laughs> I mean no matter what people say they hurt it's a needle just repeatedly just stabbing you over and over and over again. It's It can't feel great. No, someone at my job who had their inner lip tattooed. Oh, God. But why? For what reason? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. I've seen people get that, though. Doesn't even need to be a long needle. I hear tattoo guns more like metal paintbrushes. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I still don't want to be stabbed a bunch of times, personally. Tattoos are addicting. Yeah, it seems like most people who have one don't only have one for long. They usually go back and they're getting something else, right? Which, you know... If you're if you're down with it, I I like the vibe. I like the look of a lot of tattoos and stuff. I like like the the artistry of it. I just don't know if I'm the right canvas. <laughs> um, the feeling of getting a tattoo wasn't bad for me. I got Sasuke's curse mark from the Naruto anime. Ah, living the uh, the the weeb life. Uh, we got a lot of anime enjoyers in here, myself included. Although. I always said that if I was going to get one, I was going to get the very unoriginal, like, berserk <laughs> tattoo. I don't think I would get that anymore. But that was like my Young Calm's first tattoo idea. The, you know, you guys know the, the symbol I'm talking about. First tattoo was Alakazam. That's a pretty cool one. <laughs> um... Just finished watching solo leveling, and now I'm fiending to read the manhwa. You're fiending. Um, it's pretty good. I don't know where the, the anime leaves off, actually, because I was almost to the end of the manhwa, 
when it was uh, coming out. And I'm not sure when it ends, but my brother who read through all of it said I was really close. I explained where I was at. And, um, yeah. <laughs> it seemed like it was actually getting through a lot of stuff pretty quick in the anime. So, it's got to be pretty close, I think. Calm should make a video of himself getting a ditto tattoo. Nah, bro. <laughs> not bad for the first three to four hours but hours five and six are a little rough yeah i mean just just sitting around for five or six hours kind of sucks and now imagine you're sitting around for five or six hours but also you're just being stabbed the whole time <laughs> kind of sucks huh uh would you get a pokemon tattoo i don't know i if i got one i'm not sure what i would want to get like, what I like enough to really go in and get a tattoo of my brother's planning a whole, like, sleeve thing recently. He's been talking with tattoo people and getting it planned out. He's wanting to uh, to go and do that, so he's starting that. He hasn't had a tattoo yet, though. <laughs> I told him maybe you should get one just to, to test it out before you, you commit to the, the whole arm. And I think he's going to have one and then base everything else around that if if he enjoys it <laughs> but yeah i feel like that's the the thing that a lot of people do is they jump in they're like oh i'm gonna get this full crazy tattoo and then they're like oh my god i hate this <laughs> um distortion time for dudes i think it's just a look look hard for girls because girls like tattoos a lot i <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I guess there there are folks who are really into tattoos and this and that. I, um, yeah, I don't know. Who am I trying to impress here, right? <laughs> for, for me, it would be all for me. All right, we're going to park him here. Sadly, can't have normal tacos. Normal tacos. Woot. Tacos. <laughs> <laughs> um oh Vlad talking about Del Taco there you go I I really didn't know what was going on with the taco discussion here your boy was a little confused um hold on I'm making sure the left bottom left one is really not playing playing ball right now uh if you have muscles tattoos and a beard it's Jover I have a beard. That's the only component of that that I have. <laughs> I'm, I'm one thirds of the way there. <laughs> Not Niles, welcome in. How you doing, buddy? And Not Niles, I feel like it's been a hot minute. You been lurking around or is this your first time back for a bit? I feel like I haven't seen the name in a while. Hmm. Allergies, yeah, that sucks. <clears throat> I have um, a couple of nieces and nephews that have some really bad allergies too. Genetics are brutal, man. My uh, one of the one of my friends' kids also is just like super, super, just so many allergies. It's it's and they're like really bad, like throat swelling kind of stuff. So it's like not like a oh my stomach is messed up. It's a like I die thing if I eat this so it's tough when they're kids too because they have to like they have to know what they aren't able to eat and it's it's tough growing up with that for sure um the calm and collecting makes it three out of three no 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 that's not how that goes unfortunately it's not Jover well it is Jover for me but in a different kind of way um, keep meaning to catch you, but I've been pretty busy. No, not Niles. It's all good. I, I get it. <laughs> I get it. We all got things going on. Well, I appreciate you popping in. Um, we're getting very close to odds right now, guys. This is going to be... Are we going to get to 8192 exactly? I'm still not sure if we're going to land on that. Jessica. Hi. How you doing? Um, all right. No Totodile. I'm really trying to pay close attention to Totodile. 
It's still, that's the one that freaks me out the most. Uh, I guess you have to try once to even figure out you may die from eating it. That is also true. You don't necessarily know. They do, I mean, they have tests that I guess are probably a good idea to get, even if you don't have a thing that you're necessarily concerned about. We have a distortion. Hold on, I'm going to finish this check. Um, but yeah, they have checks where it'll be in a more controlled environment at like the the ENT places and allergy specialists. You can have them check and see what all you're allergic to and like how allergic you are and stuff. And it's pretty interesting. I mean, that way you can at least have some kind of idea of what the heck is going on. My uh, wife, her cousin said she ate shrimp her whole life but she took one of those tests and they told her she was allergic like very allergic to shrimp and so now she's like really bummed out because she isn't eating shrimp anymore <laughs> it's just like am i just gonna die eating a shrimp one day i don't want to take the risk you know like she never had any issues with it though but it's just like she's she's kind of off the shrimp game now You obviously have the charm, though, right? I, I see what you're doing here. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Chrissy. Uh, hello, Mr. Calm and Collecting. How's it going? It is going very well. Well, it's going pretty well. We haven't found uh, any of the shiny targets we're looking for tonight, but we're having an all right time. We're getting through these resets really, really quickly, so I can't complain. How you doing? 13,000 for Kyogre. That's crazy. The 10 times hunts are insanity. You get through them so fast. I'm even jealous. The 6x hunts, it's like half the speed of what you're... But you only get one per reset. I get three. I should be keeping up with you. <laughs> uh, did you hunt the Chikorita last week or was it the week before? Um, it was on the DS consoles and it was Thursday. Yeah, it was this week. And we got it, that that stream. It was the first stream I ever did Heart Gold Soul Silver. So uh, we got it quick. But we got it in like 1300 resets. It was not bad at all. The, the six times odds, I'm telling you. Or the six times checks. Um, if I could eat a Pokemon, it would be Torchic HC. But why? <laughs> How many resets are we going tonight? I don't know where we're going to end tonight. It's still pretty early for me. I would like to say that we're just going to go until we get something, but we'll see once I start feeling the the EPs. Right now, it's only like 9 o'clock for me, though. And Saturday streams? I don't know. Sometimes I like to go a little later. You know, 11, maybe 12, something like that. <clears throat> here we go big money this one specifically and my dog is now squeaking her toy no 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 even with the noise cancellation we can't stop that very loud toy what's your mindset with the one in four thousand odds say you're at 700 do you consider it a 25% chance to get it in the next 300 by 1,000? No, <laughs> that's not how that works. <laughs> um, so with the with the way odds are, it's in like percentiles, right? So that's usually kind of a way to think about it a little bit. And trust me, the math stuff is you don't want to listen to anything I say on this. But um, the math stuff. The way I rationalize it in my head is if I'm under odds, I kind of just hope that I'm going to get it. And once I go over odds, I'm I'm planning on my next hunt is kind of where I'm at mentally. Like I'm going very over odds, but the odds are eventually that you level out and you're, you're at odds over a long period of time is like how it works out. So um, if you look at something like, hold on, sorry. My voice has been getting a little raspy tonight. Um, if you look at somebody like 40 Cakes, who has a 24 hour a day shiny hunting stream in uh, Pokemon Emerald, they have found 370 something shinies in that game. It's insane. 
It's been going for over a year. And um, in those 370 shinies, their average for a phase on a shiny, like their average shiny find is basically right at 8,000. So like over a long period of time, it always levels back out to those odds when it's scaled out. Now within one, two, three, four hunts, it usually isn't going to be evening balancing out that quickly, but over a long period of time, it will. So when you have a really bad hunt, you just, you need to look at the next one. Be like the odds are that one's going to go under <laughs> and then you cannot go insane <laughs> i think you soared past odds um what do you mean what are you talking about <laughs> um all they need is the dumb c dot yeah the problem is is it's one in eight thousand and then a one percent as well it's crazy the the rarity of that thing. It's like a one in eight million thing, or one in eight hundred thousand. Still not great. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pretty terrible odds for that. So one in four thousand, regardless. I was afraid you'd say that. Trying to talk myself into this hunt. Yeah, it's. Uh, and it's not guaranteed either, right? Like you get to 4,000, it's not like, well, you're at 4,000, you get the shiny. There's a chance you go triple, quadruple over odds. It's not, it's not common that you would, but there is a chance. And if you look at how the spread of RNG stuff like that goes, it's never like you'll get it by this amount. It is measured in, and I did this in the DA or in the uh, space-time distortion math video that I did but um it's measured in percentiles so it's like 80 percent of people will have it by this number encounter like it'll take this many for 80 percent of people to get it and then there's the other 20 percent and then it's like okay well how long does it take for them to get it and eventually it just goes out and out and out and there's there's one poor sap in the point zero 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 one percent who has to go 10 times over odds and is crying <laughs> but yeah, that's that's just how it, how it goes. My wife is standing here looking at me. We're going to get a new light goal pinned up. I believe that we need one. Let me look. Light goal 150. We're at 154. I appreciate you guys. Um, William. My wife says she feels needy. Showing some love to the wife. Um, okay. All right, she says no. So no more love for her, I guess. <laughs> Calmer, you, you are really terrible for shiny hunting support right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I don't want you to have the wrong idea here. The odds are that the mentality that you need to have. What? Sorry, just scratch my ear really hard. Uh, my wife is making weird noises. She just dug her eardrum out, I guess. She's scratching around. No, um. 40 Cakes has almost 2.9 million total encounters. Yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, it's tough. You just have to have a certain mindset. The way that I do it is hope for under odds, but if I go over odds, I just think of it as a positive for the next thing. Because over the long period of time, that's just giving me a, a better chance at getting under odds uh, in the future that's that's present calm working to make future calms life a little bit easier is how i kind of look at it it is all 100 percent copium <laughs> but it helps the mindset thing see more like between all over odds and all under odds they average all the checks together and divide by the players one in number yeah i mean they're all individual right you have the same, here's a cat. There she is. She's here. Can you guys hear her meowing when she's over here, by the way? Sniff. She's sniffing. Don't let her touch the actual lens. All right, there she goes. <laughs> who is 40 Cakes? 40 Cakes is a friend of the channel. He's a guy who has a, I think he's in Australia. 
he has a, like a bot that's doing shiny hunting in Emerald, and they're doing a Professor Oak's challenge uh, with shinies. So before they can defeat the first gym, they have to catch every single Pokemon available before that gym as a shiny, including the evolutions and stuff. Can you? She's eating dog food. She's a demon. <laughs> Less audible meowing today. Good. Good. Is there a quick button reset programmed into the GBA? No. I mean, it's just the soft reset for DSs, which is LR, start select. So, yeah, it's not, not bad. You just have to do a button combo. <laughs> she meows a lot. Yes, she does. She's very, very vocal about wanting food and pets and just, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, the thing is, 40 Cakes got the first C dot so early that he's paying for it on the second one, yeah. That's the thing, which is also kind of how the cookie crumbles. But see, as a, a, a shiny hunter, you need to put on the blinders. When you get an under odds thing, just hope that you're not going to be a statistic. Just be like, okay, I'm not going to think about the next hunt that's going to be crazy over odds to balance this out over a long period of time. <laughs> but yeah, remember, that's always over a long period of time. It isn't something that is immediate, where if you get something at 100 encounters, it's going to take 8,000 more on the next one. It will never be like that. It's... It's always over a large sample size, is how that usually maths out. For a long period. Um, how do you have them synchronized? Uh, Gallegos. Exclamation setup in the chat if you want links to stuff, but I have a wireless controller mod that I soldered into all of them. have a special cartridge in my GBA that transmits the controls to them. Um... Toto dials, man. My Kyogre is pink. Uh, what encounter? Dang. You were over odds, though. You were probably close to 16. <laughs> when will my under odds happen, Sir Shicker? It is going to be crazy when it does. Believe me. Trust. You are going to have the biggest shiny hunting frenzy one day. It's going to make up for it. That's how it goes. That's how the math maths. You just got to trust the math. And one day you're going to get like some insane shiny thing. You're going to get like the the four shinies all in one DA or the back-to-backs. Maybe the back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. You're going to have something like that. It's just charging up for the glory. It's going to happen. <laughs> Your Trico and Torchic luck almost exactly evened out. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes it... Sometimes it does work out between two two things like that, right? But it's usually a, a large sample size is how that works out. Sometimes you get immediate, immediate, immediate uh, payback <laughs> one way or the other, though, like I did with the torch. Because you're right, it was almost exactly the the balance out. We almost just immediately corrected back to odds. <laughs> Um, what's the odds with charm in shield? It's one in 1365. Um, it's actually, it depends on what you're doing though. If you're doing Masuda, your odds are better. Uh, if you're doing Dynamax adventures, they're very good. Um, and if you're encountering just wild Pokemon, brilliant Pokemon also have better shiny odds. So there's, there's a few variables there. 15... 1,700, eh, almost double odds basically, but you know what? 10x setup, you got through those quick, right? That was just a couple nights of resetting, and it's worth it. It's such a good shiny. Very, very spicy shiny that one is. Um, I got four DA legendaries in one day a couple weeks ago. <laughs> now I'm scared, you should be. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I got two 
DA shiny legendaries. They were off stream, of course, but it was first DA for both of them. And it was within, it was one DA got the shiny legendary on first try, then nothing, then another one. First DA, first let like first try shiny legendary. And I knew, and we paid for it yesterday. <laughs> we're so over odds on DAs. <laughs> It's, it's, it's cool because I'm dual hunting it, so we're getting through it quick. The nice thing about having the multi-hunting set up... Oop, we got a distortion. Nice thing about multi-hunting is you get to hammer through the, um... Going into over odds. It doesn't feel as tedious because you get to just be more efficient about it. You blast through them really quick. That's what I like about it. So even though we were at, like, almost 15,000 on the Torchic... It went pretty quick, right? And even if we go over odds on this, like, uh, sorry, we're already over odds on this. <laughs> but no matter how over odds we go, um, it is still going to be pretty all right. Like, we're, we get through these resets very quickly. All right. Um, we're synced. I just, I have to do my magic whenever we get desynced here. I need to make sure I check all of them when we desync too. I choose Iro if that's the case. Hold on, what's going on here? When Iro or Sozin, if it's a girl, Pluto, I'll name it Azula. What is this shiny that you're gonna... I'm assuming this is a shiny. Shiny Cyndaquil. Um, I like all of those names for Cyndaquil. I think Iro's pretty good because Cyndaquil's kind of chonky. I feel like it fits Iro's vibe. Got a little bit of chonk. All right, Cranidos, not shiny. Shield on, not shiny. One more. Another shield on, not shiny. You know what? As long as we're getting fossil checks, like I'm, I'm feeling all right. There's a lot of times where we get a bunch of owls, and as much as I like them, I just am not trying to see them. So anytime we get a triple fossil check, uh, it's a success in my book. Here Calm goes complaining about the DA over odds. You need to get to 300 to start your complaining buddy old pal. No, I don't. I have the charm. <laughs> I can start complaining. I can complain when I'm under odds too. I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> like, dang it. We didn't get a first try. This game sucks. What is this shiny charm even doing for me? <laughs> um, try 500, yeah. Sir Shaker really is the only one who gets to complain on this for realsies. My man has had some bad luck. A streak. What did we end at right now? We're at 56 DAs since the last shiny that we got, which is... What, 224 total Pokemon? So we're over double odds at this point, but dude, 500 is crazy, dude. Five, that was 500 total DAs. Did you catch everything, Sir Shaker? You got phases though, right? It was 500 to get the, the Dialga, right? It wasn't you just didn't get anything, right? Because that is astronomically bad. I'm good. My wife has nachos. There was a deal that didn't actually work. They conned us into uh, buying a bunch of chips at the um, at the grocery store. And um, no, my throat's really scratchy right now. I don't want the foodies um, and some Starburst. But there was a, a deal at the grocery store that was like buy two get five free on a bunch of things and we're like oh my god chippies so we bought a bunch of chips and when it all rang up it didn't go through and i was just like i'm not even gonna deal with this i'm just gonna pay for it <laughs> they conned me man <laughs> but yeah it all just rang up normal price and i was just like ugh, fine i'm gonna eat these chippies anyways you were at 224 for Dialga. What what was 500? 
I got some phases, but like I said, 250 runs without shinies during that 500. That's crazy. And you caught everything, right? Like you, you took every single Pokemon available. Cause that's, dude, that's 10 times over odds basically <laughs> with 250. That's a thousand Pokemon lurking about Garg. I appreciate you, buddy. Appreciating people streaming during the holiday. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I, I feel like Easter is more of a, if you have kids type deal, like I know some people do like, um, the dinners and stuff for it, I guess that was never really anything my family did. So, <laughs> uh, the goal is legendary. So it's pain and suffering until then. I don't count the non-legend phases. Honestly, I mean, that's a valid way to count it. If you're just counting total encounters, cause like that is a thing. If you've gone to a hundred and you've been counting that, that Pokemon, you're still technically over odds. Haunter, I appreciate the raid, buddy. Welcome in. We'll give uh, Haunter's folks a few seconds to pop in here into chat. I appreciate you guys raiding. The Ghost Gang Raid. <laughs> Welcome in, guys. Uh, if you guys don't know me, call me collecting. I'm a calm guy. I do some shiny hunting. Uh, we're looking for heart gold, soul silver starters right now. We're also doing a little legend stuff. We're looking for space time distortion Pokemon. It is a nightmare. But uh, welcome in. Hopefully you enjoy the vibes. Feel free to hang out. Um, what were you doing tonight, Haunter? If you're still around. You know, sometimes after the raid, it's like, all right, gotta go. <laughs> but welcome in. Um, Easter just means a day off work. Yeah. Yeah, I got Friday off, so I, I'm feeling good. Push select. Is this going to work? Yeah, we're good. So the way that I resync these is I have to do select and then I have to do start if I'm in that main menu. I've, I've found the tricks during this. We're, we're doing all right here. <laughs> I've been looking at these in weird order now too. I've been starting in the middle and then like kind of like doing a weird lap around the DSs. I'm really not being efficient with this. I was doing Beat Saber. Oh, very nice. <laughs> I've never played any VR stuff, but I know we have another Beat Saber appreciator here in the chat. Ceiling Cat's a, a big fan of Beat Saber. Uh, sorry I'm late. No, Haunter, I appreciate you raiding. Heard you were doing some Beat Saber. I've never tried it. <laughs> but uh, I am a fan of rhythm games in general. I've done a lot of DDR, a lot of Parappa and Guitaru Man and all that stuff. So I I'm a fan. Uh, oh, hey, it's Coleman Collecting. Yes. Doing some Heart Gold Soul Silver tonight. Mm. Your boy's getting a little tired, though. I don't know what the deal is. I have been um, not getting a ton of sleep recently. I don't know why it's been like this. Have a lot of Pokemon alerts and games on Steam on stream, so I thought viewers would enjoy this. No, I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh god. Soul Silver, please don't be desyncing here. All right, we're we're good. <laughs> this wireless controller mod is cool, but occasionally the one console just doesn't want to listen. So we have a little bit of shenanigans every now and then. Uh, heading out, O'Marrington, we'll see you around, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Not feeling so good all of a sudden. Yeah, hopefully you're feeling better soon, buddy. Um, guys, just so you know, I know that once we get to a certain time, it's late for people in like the East Coast. It's already past midnight. Um... My dogs are going ballistic. I'm sorry about that. It's already past midnight, but, um, yeah. If you guys gotta go, I know it's late. You gotta get some sleep. Hold on. Dang, dog. Dang, doggo. They're chasing the cat. Making noise. <laughs> um, what the dog doing? Yeah, harassing the cat. It's what she does. They're all demons. I live in a zoo. 
Um, but I forget what I was saying. I have a video coming out tomorrow. Make sure you guys check it out. It's talking about DA shenanigans. Lots of lots of tips, lots of lots of things. But it's pretty entertaining in general, I think. I, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. So just show it some love tomorrow, guys. On old, old Easter, make sure you're caught up on the DA stuff. You know what's going on. I do enjoy the Saber of Beats, but I'm only average skill level. Don't be overselling me. I heard that Ceiling Cat has some world records, actually. Very, very humble person old Ceiling Cat is. <laughs> yeah, Beat Saber looks difficult, if I'm being honest. it I don't know that my ape brain could could figure that out. <laughs> like, it looks like a simple concept. Usually, rhythm games seem like that, though, right? They always look simple. And then you try to operate your your arms in the way they need to go and process the information quickly, and it's, suddenly you realize you don't have the, the brain power or the physical capability to do it. <laughs> Uh, can't sleep without seeing a shiny. I hope we can make that happen. The problem is, is we were very under odds on Chikorita earlier, so I have a feeling we're going to be going a bit over odds on this next one. Uh, headed to bed. Casey, I appreciate you hanging out. Uh, excited for the video drop. Yes. No, I appreciate you guys showing them love whenever they're uploaded because the, the algorithm decides what it wants to do with a video. First off, based on like, let's let's see what his subscribers think about this. So I would appreciate y'all checking it out, you know, giving it a like or do, doing all the YouTube junk that makes the algorithm happy. I do appreciate that. Helping your boy out. Um, are you guys familiar with shiny odds mechanics with these promoted Scarlet and Violet baby outbreaks? Um, somebody was saying they didn't think that they were boosted shiny odds. So I think it's like regular outbreak odds, which are better than normal already, you know? But um, they have had a lot of events where it's just like you have a higher chance of getting a certain mark, but um, it doesn't really increase the shiny chances besides the flat amount that the, the outbreaks always do, right? So that's what I heard it was. I, I don't know this for sure, though. Which ceiling cat are you talking to? Humble I am not. Yeah, mu must have been a different one. <laughs> now I pay. Yep, I, I know the rules. For every under odds time, there is a an over odds time. I have to pay. That's fine. <laughs> um, I love the shiny boost events, but they are OP. Yes, they are. Dude, I got so many of those milseries so fast. It was crazy. The announcement didn't seem like it was shiny boost one, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, it's not like they have a million forms or anything, so it's not too bad. Just having the the boosted chances from the outbreak, I, I feel like is good enough, right? Like with the charm and everything. Question was, was it worth it to make a shiny sandwich? I would not. Uh, if I were you, what I would do whenever I do Outbreaks now is I do an Academy Special, which is the thing that only costs 150 BP. If you really want an extra Shiny Boost on top of your Charm and the Outbreak, just get the Academy Special. It's like 100 or 150 BP, which is like nothing if you're doing BP grinding. And if you need people to BP grind with, uh, exclamation Discord in the chat. We got a bunch of people... Scarlet and Violet has been a little bit slower recently, but there are still people playing it. And if you get into a group, you'll get a ton of BP, like tens of thousands. So, um, and that'll give you sparkling power level one. So you'll get better odds than before. So that's what I always do if I'm doing an outbreak. My luck with Quaxley is making this Cyndaquil hunt take forever. You know, that's how it goes. <laughs> um... The hardest part is two are hard to see. Um, with Elekid, what what are the things in the event? I can't remember. It, it's all baby Pokemon. And I feel like 
a lot of baby Pokemon are just like really bad shinies. Pichu, Happiny, even Smoochum is like kind of, they're all kind of difficult to spot, aren't they? Magby's easy, but yeah, it's, it's kind of tough. Hmm. Have you found any shiny fossils in the distortions yet? Raul, I have not. They're so slow, dude. <laughs> I just, I have them cooking always though. Whenever I'm doing these soft resets, I have perfected dex entries for them. I have the charm. I have just the best possible chances of seeing something. So where I, I think I'm over odds on, on legends for this. I'm pretty sure I've seen over 585, um, fossils at this point. We have, we have done a lot of checks for them, but the problem is we only see like two or three at a time and I haven't been counting. So I think after I get a shiny of one of them, I'm going to be counting how many encounters it takes before my next one. So I can have an idea of where I'm at in the cycle because it kind of sucks not knowing. Tried shiny hunting those starters last week on my heart gold copy and surprisingly over a thousand soft resets. I got a shiny Cyndaquil. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, we got our Chikorita at like 1300. So pretty, pretty good. They're pretty quick. Especially with six copies of the game running at once. <laughs> uh, one of the baby shinies to be something special, but they've all disappointed me. Yeah, they're... Uh... They're not great. It's too bad. Because a lot of the baby Pokemon are like kind of cool, you know? Like I I like quite a few of them. Uh <laughs> luckily for sandwiches, I just use the second sandwich, then I turn off the level three boost. Woot. Oh, oh, you have a, a second switch, is what you're saying. So you host it for yourself on the other one. That works too. Yeah, if you've got the ability to do that, then why not, right? You just soft reset the other one so you don't waste the herba. But, um, yeah, usually, I mean, I have two switches that I can do for that too. I usually can't be bothered. The odds are so good for the distortions already with the charm and everything anyways. Like, just getting sparkling power level one is usually enough to get it in basically no time at all for me it isn't worth the time making the sandwich and um doing all the extra steps you know it it just ends up showing up so quick anyways but if you're if you're planning on going for a bunch of them maybe it might make more sense if you're going to try to get the whole evolution line or something that's like a a reason you might do that my taco bell is hitting just right that's usually how it be <laughs> <laughs> it always seems to come in clutch at the time of need. Mmm. Pyro, <laughs> Toxel, and Riolu are cool. Yes, they are. Is Toxel considered a baby Pokemon? The Tyrogue is definitely, I think, the best shiny baby Pokemon in my opinion though for sure like it's really good uh Riolu is also really good but um Tyrogue's definitely the one for me <laughs> oh my god I have one game desynced right now hold on guys all right we're good we're synced back up um, Toxel is a baby. I mean, I know he's like a baby in design. I didn't realize he was a baby Pokemon, like couldn't be bred with anything, stuff like that. Just bought the OLED switch. Um, I'm not sure how long the LCD one will last now because it hasn't, hasn't, has been taken on picnics. Why does the picnic thing matter? You haven't been playing it in like the river or anything, right? It should still be good. <laughs> been out on picnics it's gonna go out to pasture soon uh, my switches i have had to swap one of the fans on one of my my original switches but yeah i don't they seem like they're pretty pretty uh long lasting toxel's 100 percent a baby there you go i mean he does have a diaper <laughs> toxel's the first baby in a while yeah they they don't do a lot of baby pokemon anymore 
Um, <laughs> as I watched this live, I encountered a shiny Gligar on Route 45. Now to evolve this into a shiny Gliscor, you love to see it. Two very good shinies. <laughs> well, I'm glad the shiny luck is out there. We haven't found anything spicy tonight yet, but, you know, the night is young. We got plenty of time to find something. Real life picnics and by the river, yes. In the river, though. That's the, the main the main deal. <laughs> you might say Toxel has an electric diaper. Exactly. Isn't that how this, this came up? Wasn't it when I found my shiny Toxel in Scarlet and Violet? Isn't that what happened? What, what was the, the lore, the stream lore on electric diaper? I can't remember what brought that up. <laughs> uh, did about 400 plus distortions in Coronet Highlands. Only found one shiny Dartrix, no fossils. Raul, I hate that for you. Um, yeah, that sucks. It sucks that it's not guaranteed to at least... Like, it would be better if the three spawns were guaranteed to be the fossils, but they aren't. I have so many times where I literally just get Rowlets and Dartrixes and stuff. Like, it kills me, dude. Have you seen the um, the 15-minute deal? I think for Coronet Highlands, the way that it mathed out, it wasn't the best way. But I actually have a video on, like, the efficiency of how long you should wait for the um, the different distortions and stuff on each map. Because it, it varies depending on the map you're on. So I check that out if you haven't seen that yet. But, um, yeah, I think for Coronet Highlands, it is the 45-minute thing, the way that the, the math worked out. Um, Alola, August, how you doing? Yeah, it's been a hot minute. How's things? Just got myself a nice bowl of ramen to munch on. Well, chill into the streams, Kuma. Enjoy. Just wondering, does anybody know a way I can get back into using my Switch? Haven't used it in weeks. What do you mean? You just like haven't been feeling it? Honestly, if you're not feeling the vibe, I think you don't have to force yourself to, uh, to, to get back to it and get back to the grind, you know? At the end of the day, it's supposed to be entertainment, and if you're not feeling the entertainment, the break is a good thing. August joined in the calm crew. I, I appreciate you. Guys, get some Mr. Kappas, maybe some pay buttons in the chat. Show some love. <laughs> I appreciate you. Players hate them as most come in different gens and are unnecessary, I think. I honestly, I feel like not every Pokemon has to be like a competitive, good Pokemon, right? Sometimes they can just be there to be there. But I get why. The other thing is the baby Pokemon also make it so they can never evolve that Pokemon is the other kind of downside. Because they've only ever had the three stages, right? And you're, you're kind of locking yourself into a spot if it has a baby form. So on a few days ago, how I found your channel. Raul, I, <laughs> I appreciate that. That's cool that you found it from that video because my regular videos are definitely not like my, my main bread and butter <laughs> for the channel. <laughs> so that's cool that that's how you found it. Um, not too many videos about hunting those distortions. Yeah, I know. I've made two on it actually. There's there's one that's older and it's like not as as good on that, but it's I'm glad that it's something that could be informative for the homies. I wish I could have some results to show for it though. Like <laughs> I have friends who know math, but besides that, I have not been able to prove any of these numbers <laughs> in in my actual games here. Just have not had the luck. I want shiny Chikorita to show up. I'd take another one. I would like a female one if we got one, though. That'd be pretty cool. Wonder if they introduce fourth evolutions in a future gen. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of tough. I don't know what... I mean... Man, that is just Pandora's box, isn't it? That really changes a lot of things, not only for... Um, the, the games, like the video games, but the card game, too. That really changes how a lot of stuff would work. <laughs> It'd be interesting. I mean, it would be a very big... They'd have to plan it out a lot. Haven't touched a Switch in a couple weeks. Um, feeling like a break. Feeling like a break, and I don't regret it. Yeah, no, that's fine. 
And you know what? I, I think that there's no reason you should have to force yourself to try to jump back back on the bandwagon. No reason. Just enjoy your break. August gifting a membership. I appreciate you with that. Um, that one guy. Make sure you say thanks if you're in here still. Um, how are the games synced like that? I have a wireless controller mod that I soldered into each of the DSs. and a special GBA cartridge that whenever I push a button on the GBA, it transmits the control to all of the, uh, the DS lights. So that's how it is set up. But yeah, uh, Baby Pluto just put the command in the chat. Exclamation setup in the chat if you're wanting to see the links for where I got all this stuff. And if you want an install for that, I have a, a, a homie that can do that too. This may be an unpopular opinion, but I much prefer Paradox Pokemon and Convergent Species to regional variants. Um, mm, I don't agree with that. <laughs> I think that it's cool to have a mix of all of them, but I feel like the quality of regional variants is is higher than the Paradox Pokemon, at least. I feel like the Paradox Pokemon are my least favorite of the three options. For me, it would probably be regional variants, the... Um, what is the other... The other thing the convergent species, and then paradoxes. I just feel like the, the issue with paradoxes is they wrote themselves into a corner a little bit. It's like all of the future things are iron something. And that's fine, I guess, but it's confusing from a Pokemon design language perspective. This is really getting into the weeds right now. But like when everything is a robot, they all look like they should be steel type because they're all made out of metal. So when you look at the typing for Sandy Shocks, the only pointer to it being ground type is that its name is Sandy Shocks. Like, that's the only reason you would guess that. There's nothing in its design language that says ground type. I know that it has the like kind of ferro fluid or whatever the, the iron dust is on its magnets or whatever but like that's what kind of lost me with the paradoxes a little bit hello saw you streaming early earlier finally coming in now rail camp welcome welcome in yeah we haven't found anything yet so you haven't missed anything <laughs> pseudo wudo how you doing buddy welcome in i like the paradox pokemon cards and don't get me wrong i don't hate paradox pokemon i just feel like it's kind of confusing the design language on them that's, that's my main thing with them, is they're just not immediately apparent what typing they are. And meh. Calm Secretly has four Mr. Kappas under his desk controlling each DS. Yes, they're, they're each doing their thing. <laughs> Convergent, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Sandy, short for Sandra. There it is. Sandra Shocks. <laughs> that sounds like a um maybe like a tv kind of maybe she's like a lawyer maybe it's like a crime drama thing sandra shocks attorney at law <laughs> great tusk is goaded there are some that are very very good i think that for sure the past pokemon are better than the future ones because those at least have some kind of like, it's specifically, I think, the future ones that lose me because they're all just robots. But the past ones have kind of pointers to what their typings are based on how they look, which is something that I think is important in the, the creature designs, right? Regional variants definitely have some real-world inspiration and more imaginative IMO, I would agree. Because, you know, they're, they're making it for a specific game, a specific region. Like, they, they have reasons that they're making these things, right? And I think the, the initial basis of the Pokemon is usually also, like, higher quality. They're working off of something whoop, that is already existing, so they don't have to make a brand new Pokemon. They can just kind of, like I said, riff off of 
original ideas that they've already had and just kind of do a little bit of a spin on it so it's less of a dramatic kind of design change for them. They don't have to make some entirely new identity for a Pokemon, right? Don't like the future Paradox designs either. Yeah, it's... And, you know, they're not, like, terrible, but that's just something that I have had a lot of confusion on for those, and I'm sure other people have too, right? Like, I, I do have two brain cells, but I'm not the only one with two brain cells. <laughs> There's at least one more. The full arts are cool. Yeah, I, um... Do I have any alt arts of the paradoxes? I got the iron boulder that I showed you guys yesterday. Do I have any others? I don't know that I do. Hmm. I need to get on that. I, I don't know if I told you guys this yet. Soon. I have another package coming from Japan. I bought a couple booster boxes this go around it's been a long time since i've opened some cards so uh we have a chance to see some of these paradox alt arts and stuff i got the the latest set a couple boxes of it so i'm excited to see what we can get i'm excited to finally have a card stream again it's been a long time since we had one of those <laughs> reporting live from the scene is sandra shocks k-o-m-o four news k-o-m-o what is k-o-m-o standing for here Someone stepped on the wrong butterfly and thus robot Pokemon. Exactly. The old butterfly effect. It made the, the weirdo robot Pokemans. I'm going to try to complete Shining Pearl storyline. Good luck. It's kind of slow, kind of tedious. But, um, you know, it does have some, some decent stuff going on in it. It gets a lot of hate. And I don't necessarily think it's completely unfounded. But uh, it's it's got some okay stuff. <laughs> Have the alt art iron hands. I really want to get that. That one where he's like breaking through a bunch of brick walls, right? He's just like falling through him Looney Tune style. Yeah, I'm jealous of that. <laughs> How does Thunder Giraffe Dragon? That is a design choice. Thunder Giraffe Dragon. That is indeed a design choice. I hate it. Um, I am not a fan, man. <laughs> There's some of them that I just felt like were really just whack. I, I was not down with some of those newer ones. But, you know, I'm, I'm drinking my Haterade, as usual. It's pronounced like it sounds. Como. Como. All right. I don't get it. <laughs> Please welcome back to the stage the high kicking Miss Sandra Shocks. The shocks are her legs. Got them shocks. Um, yeah, I don't know. Welcoming back to the stage is a little bit of a different vibe than the the criminal justice Sandra Shocks that we had planned out originally here. This is getting a different spin. <laughs> I'm excited for ZA, wanted a new Legends game so bad, thought for sure I would be disappointed. Yeah, no, I was not expecting a Legends game, and I was very happy about that. And Mega Evolutions? Everything. That was like my, um, you know, my, my wildest dreams kind of thing. I didn't think that one was going to happen. When people were asking, like, what, what did you really wish that they would announce? And they'd be like, well, another Legends game. And Mega Evolution, it's literally just exactly what I would say. If somebody said, what do you want to see in this? Megas, Legends. My two things. I like Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt does have its fans. I am not one of them. I, that thing is ugly, bro. <laughs> that thing is not it. Not for calm. Charm is not working in Heart Gold Soul Silver. Yeah, no, it's not. Definitely not. We're about to get into the uh, quintuple digits. Sir Shicker, I didn't believe you. I wanted to believe you. 
I wanted to believe, but I didn't believe that Pokemon could pull off such a dub of a Legends game and Mega Evolutions. There was no way. If you told me that in, in my chat before that announcement, I'd be like, yeah, I wish that would be a thing. But it will not happen. Would not believe you at all. I'm glad I was wrong on that, though. I, you know, I can swallow my pride and admit that I was incorrect during certain times, many times, some might say. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, I'm just happy that we're getting a Legends game. <clears throat> not as ugly as Jinx. That's not really like a, I don't know why you gotta do Jinx like that. <laughs> Rowlet, welcome in. Hello, hello. Uh, needs more Megas. We're getting more Megas. It's it's a thing. It is happening. Uh, there's no way that they reintroduce Megas and they don't give us any new ones, right? Like, they aren't going to give us an L like that after the massive dub, right? Calling it next shiny is going to be Totodile. I'll take it. I'm down. Any of you keep up with the current JP anime? So much future stuff teased in there. Hmm. Um... I, so somebody posted about the doggo, is what I'll say. There was a doggo that I saw in my, in my Discord. People talking about the anime. <laughs> I'm only caught up to the English release of the anime, so I know I'm behind. Um, there will be new Megas, yes. Yeah, no, there has to be. There has to be. Uh, doing some DAs right now, hoping for a shiny. What are you going for? Yeah, there was a doggo in the anime, in the Japanese anime recently. <laughs> Definitely. It, he's not a cat anymore, right? Raging Bolt is no longer a cat. It is a giraffe, a dinosaur. He's no longer cat anymore, I think. I think he's lost his cat typing. They don't need new Megas. They're lucky we even bringing them back. No, worry so no. Don't manifest things. <laughs> um, you want some megas for gens seven through nine as they couldn't before. Yeah, no, it'd be cool. I think that I'm okay with a variety. Honestly, I don't care what gens they're from. I think a lot of Pokemon that are not really used have a lot of potential to get some uh some time in the limelight. Though I I think it'll be neat. Maybe even Mega Xerneas and Eveltal. Yeah, I mean, there was Mega Mega Diancie, right? So, I feel like a, a Mega Legendary thing isn't out of the question. Especially, like, um, yeah, it's weird in X and Y that they didn't give them a Mega form or anything, right? Because that was the, the generation that they, they made all that. And then in Oris, they gave all of the Legendaries in that game megas and special forms and stuff but in x and y they just kind of did them dirty they didn't give them anything hmm probably gonna happen it's gotta right the eon twins yes the eon twin megas i see what you're doing hc i'm not taking the bait <laughs> ladius raid dancy mew twim yeah had some some mega legendaries both of the Mewtwo's uh, have a route in mind for the random encounters. Um, for Woot, for just whenever I get to random encounters, you mean? I don't know. I think that what I'm going to do is for Gen 3, I think I'm going to be doing um, random encounters in Emerald. And I think I'm just going to beat the games and we'll just kind of whatever we're feeling you know whatever the the flavor of the day is since we can't do any uh soft resets in those games we can but it's not really not really a thing right so i think i'm gonna beat emerald and stuff as an extracurricular activity and uh just be ready to go those will be my random encounter games for the most part i think honestly felt that not including the gen 6 legends on scarlet and violet meant the next game would be gen 6 um raise with the the predictions 
But yeah, I mean, sometimes you can take certain things they do and make predictions based on it, but other times they just do weird stuff, and I don't know why they do it, right? Sometimes they're just kind of crazy like that. <laughs> Remember when everybody thought the DLC for Scarlet and Violet would be Kalos? Um, yeah. I mean, they talked a lot about Kalos in this game, though, didn't they? Didn't they talk about, like, something about the war being the reason there was the crater there? Or was that all fan theory? I can't remember if that was actually a thing or not. Personally think it's hilarious that Game Freak managed to trip everyone up. No, it's good. The, the element of surprise is real. It's fan theory. Okay. Yeah. Uh, almost no one in the live chat predicted Kalos. It was so funny. No, it's good. I like that too. <laughs> Said alright, but how about this? When I saw the mega thing at the, the end too, it was just like, it seemed like such a little thing, but it, it was a big deal. Your boy was excited. Pokemon meets Call of Duty. I don't think it's ever going to happen, but I will say... We already have Pokemon League of Legends, and I wouldn't have thought that was going to be a thing either. So, um... <laughs> it might just be a matter of time. Who knows? It could be a thing. Here I am running around with cute charm glitch and breeding for shinies on Virtual Crystal. Honestly, Darkrai, that's fair too. <laughs> the Crystal stuff is not that... Even with the, the breeding stuff to get shinies in that game... You have really good odds, but dude, those those eggs take forever. We have another person in the uh, Discord who's a big, like, uh, Gen 2 shiny hunting fiend right now in Crystal. And uh, he's been going and getting a bunch of stuff with eggs, but man, it is, it is rough. <laughs> those eggs take forever in the old games. Would love a Diablo clone Pokemon. We're, we're getting to that point where they're just, they're doing the weirdo stuff and I'm here for it, you know? Doing the weirdo stuff. Two games at once. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess you're just kind of holding down a direction on one. You're doing the piano thing. <laughs> Leo, welcome in. How you doing, buddy? Whoa. Okay, we're good. I almost desynced there. One of the games didn't push the button right. Uh, Conkeldur's Gate 4. I, that one I don't know that we're getting. <laughs> um, one of my pride points. I did not call Gen 6 Legends, but I did put it in Calm's poll that I would love to see it because as and it magically happened. So what I'm hearing is Vlad summoned it, manifested this. And you know what? I'm pretty down with Gen 6. It's a generation that I think doesn't get the love it deserves. It was kind of slept on. It, it kind of went by quick because they rushed to get Sun and Moon out for whatever anniversary it was. I can't remember. 15th? 20th? What was it for Sun and Moon? They rushed it out to get that, though, to get a certain uh, anniversary. I can't remember which. 15th, right? Am I crazy? Do you say as or az? I think it's as, isn't it? Or is it az? How do you say it? Do you know? Poor cake. How's the stream going? It's going well. We're almost at 10,000 encounters for the shiny starter tonight. So that's, that isn't the spiciest thing. But you know what? We're, we're doing all right. We were super under odds on Chikorita. I'm not, I'm not mad. Would like to find something tonight though. Why can LGM learn Steel Wing? <laughs> I don't know. Why? Why indeed? AZ, not as. I just feel like they should put some, some periods or spaces if that's the case. It's, I don't know. But I guess CJ or like a, a name like that, I guess they don't put spaces and stuff. Maybe, maybe this makes sense. They just need voice acting, man. Did they ever say it in the anime at all? Was was Az or Az or whatever in there? Hmm. 
don't foresee more than about 10 megas which unfortunately 7 to 9 can easily fill with not many each um why do you only think 10 megas how many megas were in each game that had mega evolutions the thing i think is there's it's basically a sure thing that any pokemon that has a mega is probably going to be in the decks in za right but besides that it's an abbreviation of arizona there it is he's an arizonan <laughs> Uh, might shiny hunt gen 2 starters today very nice good luck senor peggy hill asks como dice como de dice as <laughs> yeah i don't know senor peggy i'm i'm hoping you could tell me how, how this is pronounced i i need to know so ray ray's coming back i would think so that would mean Diancie and stuff too. Maybe not all of them. I have a, you know, I think that it would be crazy if they didn't bring back all of the Pokemon that had Megas though in the game that has Megas after a long period of time, right? Like it seems like it's too easy to uh, to not bring those back in. They already have the work done for them, you know? Otherwise they're going to have to make a whole bunch of new ones and they don't want to do that, right? Um... There's a dash for AZ. Why is his name AZ? Uh, oh, Distortion just spawned on top of us. Very nice. Pseudo Woo Don't. Gifted a membership. Darkrai, if you're in here, make sure you say thanks to, to old Pseudo Woo Show some love. Guys, if you haven't opted in yet, make sure you do. Exclamation gift in the chat. Otherwise, you can't get one of those gifties. I appreciate y'all. Throw some, some pay buttons, some Mr. Kappas in the chat show some love been a little quieter tonight and you know what that's fine that's fine we're about to get to 10,000 right now guys we're almost there we're gonna get a mega mega pokemon no are they gonna double down <laughs> uh, it's gonna be something i don't know i don't think we need a mega mega just a regular just a, a regular mega evolutions good with me how's it going i'm shiny hunting mareep right now in what game jack either way good luck very good shiny um all right distortion time real quick no rallet uh whoa got a couple nuggets getting some money no cranny dose no cranny dose former dude we at least got a couple checks though again you know whenever we see fossils it's at least somewhat positive we're inching our way up to the uh that shiny encounter we're just getting more more checks closer and closer that's my copium uh, trying to imagine a mega ditto i just don't know what they could do to make mega ditto do anything different than regular ditto but you know i'm a, a ditto appreciator so i'm not gonna turn down uh, a ditto thing just got home from easter celebrations how's your night going it's going well we're just hanging out doing our thing nothing nothing has appeared yet we're at 10,000 now so we're um over odds by a chunk but we're just making up for our under odds earlier it's soon very soon <laughs> hoping hoping za takes place when mega evolutions are being discovered or developed yeah yeah i think it'd be cool like we make the um the mega stones or whatever maybe they're like figuring out how that works can you use fly and shining pearl yeah you just have to beat a certain gym you get it as like a an ability on your bibarel though you don't have to use like fly on a pokemon anymore right you have the the bibarel homie helping you out ah unlucky man yeah no i mean we we're making up for the the good times right now <laughs> 
mining mini game to dig up all the mega stones. Dude, I, I kind of like mining mini games like that. So I would be down. A big RuneScape appreciator. So uh, it'd be like that. Uh, just watched the entire uh, AZ episode of the Pokemon Generations and didn't hear them say his name. Had an episode, didn't even get some lines, anything like that. It just... They don't even mention the chump. <laughs> um, bro, shiny graveler. What do you mean? In, in my game? Did I fly over a shiny graveler? I'm not, like, stressed about that, but that would be my luck, I think. Distortion. Leo, I was already in there. We're waiting for it to go away. I checked it. I appreciate it, though. Uh, it's Staraptor for fly. Babero can't fly. Well, neither can Eevee, but you can fly on Eevee and let's go. <laughs> you can fly on Eevee and the Pikachu. You, like, hop on a surfboard with balloons or a little little chair thing with balloons on it. I just figured it was Bibarel. He was for everything else. So they just randomly give you a Staraptor instead. That's lame. They should have made it Bibarel. Would have been would have been a funnier meme. Uh, Mega Evolution is so dark in the lore. Yeah. Yeah, because it's supposed to like hurt the Pokemon and stuff. It's kind of kind of brutal. Um had a bad thought, Mega Conkildur. No, please. Can can you not? We need to not manif manifest bad things for this good game that I'm excited for. We need to be positive, good. Nothing bad like that. <laughs> um, has four arms like Machamp, but moves like a spider with his four giant pillars. I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> You have a distortion cooking. Leo, I know. I was saying, I, I've already checked it. We're waiting for a new one. Hmm. 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 How many DSs does Calm have? Well, I have four in the setup. I have more than this, though. I just don't have four or more that are capable of doing this. I have some for spare parts that weren't like in great condition. I have a couple DSs or three DSs, sorry. We we have options. So we got we got parts aplenty. But yeah, it's uh it's nice. We we got an assortment when we were in Japan. If you watch the episode with the Mega Garchomp, you'd understand the pain they go through. I have not seen that. Is it like I don't I haven't seen an anime episode where they've been like freaking out about Mega Evolving, though. That's kind of kind of weird that they would do that in the anime. <laughs> yeah. Because I know, it, like, Pokedex descriptions were pretty crazy about the Megas. It's just like, yeah, it turns its blood into rock. It's like, oh, God. Uh, the Karina Lucario arc of the XY anime gets into how disorienting and painful it can be. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I did watch that, and it was like, Lucario was just going ballistic, but I felt like it wasn't as like crazy as some of the Pokedex descriptions, right? Where like the spikes, its bones turn into spikes and like pop out through its skin or whatever. Like they got some kind of crazy stuff from some of those <laughs> mega evolution descriptions. Uh, specifically like Garchomp and Aerodactyl are ones I remember like pretty common <laughs> like references to that. Team Rocket, I believe they forced Garchomp to Mega Evolve. Hmm. Hmm. Um, never forget what what happened to Lucario. I might need to rewatch some of the Journey stuff because it's been a little bit. But um, I did watch all of that. I remember when they were trying to train Ash's Lucario to be able to control it. I remember his was freaking out. I don't remember Karina's freaking out though. Hmm. Mega Golduck is going to be in the in the game. You think so? Is it actually going to be gold? That'd be cool. Mega Golduck and it's like gold. <laughs> there was a scrapped baby Ditto at some point. There was a scrapped Ditto evolution. 
I don't know about a baby ditto, but there was supposed to be an evolution that was going to be a steel type. And he was just an angie little guy. Yeah, it, it was an evolution in Gen 2. Hers was going wild. Hmm. When when was that? It wasn't during the training portion, right? It was, um... Was it maybe during, like, one of the battle things towards the end or something? What was the, what was the part where hers freaked out? Because I don't remember that. Baby Ditto. It's just Ditto, but smaller. I'm down. Uh, you know, I like that. Hmm. It was X and Y. I gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Watch X and Y. Watch X, X and Y. It was X and Y. Not Journeys. X and Y. You idiot. <laughs> yeah, I need to finish X and Y. I've watched a chunk. I just... I don't know, bro. I need to do it, I guess. Everybody tells me I need to. <laughs> um, Saw Shiny Mareep, then it despawned. So you're in Scarlet and Violet then. You'll get another one. It's all good. It at least spawns in groups, so you get a bunch of checks at once. Jacob, how you doing? I'm doing well. Um, we haven't found the shiny yet, but we're we're cooking. Just let me cook. Very soon, I got a feeling. You're getting the mega stone, then trying it out. Oh, like first try. So it was basically like ashes in journeys. It was the same thing. Because his was just going ballistic, and it was training with her, Lucario, that that's obviously in the future. After they got over all that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I do remember the journeys part of that, but not Karina's freaking out. So that was in the X and Y thing, when she was just, just starting to train with old Lucario. Just getting into it. Let me go park my guy over here really quick. If you guys don't know what these distortions, the closer you are to where the distortion spawns, the quicker it will start. So I park here because this is like basically in the middle of every single spot that a distortion could spawn here. And if one spawns exactly on top of me, there's a chance that it does that. Um, then it spawns very, very quickly. So that's why I park there. So many auras, so many auras, so little time. My man was going crazy with the auras. Um, <clears throat> trying to find this cut ditto evolution. Uh, it's not really the shrieking gray thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> that is what it was supposed to be. Pseudo woo don't. With the three bucks, is Watch it Watch X and Y. Watch X and Y. Watch X and Y. Watch X while. <laughs> Watch X while. <laughs> um, well, I don't know how I could say no to that, right? The, the whole cast of Spongebob is in my text-to-speech, which I didn't really realize, or most of the, the cast of Spongebob, I guess. Watch x -Wile. I'll have to find x -Wile. <laughs> That's us, the chat. Yeah, that's all you guys. Which one is you, Sudowoodo? Which one of those voices? The entire Bikini Bottom crew, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um... You know, I actually have a, another member of the SpongeBob crew here. Here we go. My leg. Did he not work? My leg. You guys hear that? Maybe, maybe it doesn't work anymore. Did it? Okay. <laughs> I don't hear it for some reason. <laughs> you guys hear my leg and the boo-womp? <laughs> my leg. Um, that is my favorite soundbite. I never get to use it. It's really too bad. If you get a shiny Toto doll, please nickname it Gatorade. I do like that nickname. I'm gonna be honest with you. But it's in Japanese. I cannot nickname them 
long things in English. Well, at least in Gen 3, I couldn't. I don't know in Gen 4 if there's the same limitation on that. Gen 3, it's very limited what you can nickname things on Japanese copies. Huh. I'm probably not going to nickname it, though. <laughs> just just so we're clear. <laughs> um, had to regather my composure because I was laughing so hard about that Ultra Beast. What, the Guzzlord? you never seen Guzzlord before? I saw you kind of going in on <laughs> Guzzlord in that chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, this is the ugliest Pokemon I've ever seen. Two dollars from RJ Mena, cool cat gaming. No instead watch Z and A. Hmm. Um watch Z and A. What what is Z and A? The XYZ anime, I know there is a thing. I, I'm a ways into the Pokemon X and Y anime. I don't know exactly how far, but I'm a ways. My favorite soundbite you have is the goofy yell. I never get to use this. It's so good. I just wish I had more opportunities. Yeah, Gatorade is a fantastic nickname for Totodile. It really is. Really, really is. I don't know. If I nickname it, I'm going to have to nickname everything. I can't just nickname one thing. That's the problem. Play Lorcana, um, or Lorcana. I don't know how you say it. The Disney card game, right? I have a buddy who is very into it. Um, I don't know. I'm not like that into the Disney IP. So I feel like I'm not the target audience for this one. But I do really like TCGs. So yeah, I don't know. My buddy might eventually convince me to play it. I, I haven't been convinced yet. It does look cool. I like the mechanics and stuff. I like the, the ink mechanic of how you can use your cards as like mana basically and stuff. I just... I always joked with him that I was going to go in with a Timon and Pumbaa deck. I, I just think that's hilarious. <laughs> this is my competitive Timon and Pumbaa deck. Uh, you're going to catch these hands right now. Good old Timon and Pumbaa throwing down. That's, the, that's the only way I would be convinced to play is if I could have a really good competitive Timon and Pumbaa deck. Uh, on the hunt for a new Isekai anime while watching Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Uh, what have you watched that you've liked Isekai wise? Let me know. I might have a recommendation or two, perhaps. Uh, got up to 100 DA's check, DA checks on Tapu Koko and then do 11 checks of Ray Ray and I get it. Yeah. That's the thing. It's all individual. So if you're at 100 checks, it's just as likely that you see some other legendary after 100, you know? it's It isn't counting just the, the Ray Rays or whatever, but good luck. Hopefully, hopefully you get your, your target soon. Your Tapu Coco. <laughs> Just tuning in, uh, Tony and Britt. Uh, it's been going well. We're a bit over odds, but um, we're having an all right time. It's all good. <laughs> we're we're going to get it soon. I can feel it. Going to get old Gatorade. Um, you can name it Gatorade with Katakana. Um, yeah, no, I can spell it in Katakana. I will not be doing that. <laughs> and I do know what the Katakana is. I think it would be spelled a little differently, though. I think... I, th I think it would be a, like a... An extension after the, the Re. But I don't know Japanese. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't think it, it hits the same when it's in Japanese. It is a good name. Porsche Nut, good day. How you doing, buddy? How's things? Did you complete the living decks in Scarlet and Violet? I was pretty close. I haven't done all the DLC stuff. I'm close. There you go. Christopher Fritz. So an extension on the 
on, on two things. It's it's kind of tough to convert things to uh, katakana sometimes because all that is is them saying stuff in Japanese that's like foreign words a lot of times. And even knowing the foreign words, sometimes it's hard to get the spelling in Japanese to get it right. Uh, Gatorade, isn't that a prime knock knockoff? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shiny, but don't know what it is yet. Woot. What are you talking about? See if it's officially released over there. Nah, they like Picari Sweat over there, man. I don't I don't think I've ever seen Gatorade over in Japan. It definitely is not like a much of a contender over there, anyways. There might be some over there, but it it isn't the 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 hot thing. The Gatorade drink over there is called Picari Sweat which is a terrible name for a drink. But they love English over there. Makes things look fancier. <laughs> Pakari Sweat. It's like, it's not very good. It's not as good as Gatorade, I think. Some people love it, but uh, it did not, did not do it for ya boy. But yeah, Pakari Sweat. That's the thing. Shiny Alpha Golduck and Shiny Psyduck. Neat. Nee? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, wish wish cold brew was... <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> you spelled all this out in English. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> uh, sometimes they go a little crazy. It's kind of almost like a puzzle, trying to figure out what the what the English word is they're trying to say when you read katakana like that, you're like, what does this mean? You know English and you can read the Japanese and you're like trying to say it and figure out what the word is. It's kind of interesting. No name. Welcome back from the movies. Just in time for the shiny. Here it is. Um... Never mind. <laughs> um, what movie did you see? No name. I know you popped in and said you were rolling out going to the movies. I didn't catch what it was. Uh, saw Godzilla x King Kong. Is it already out now? Did they just released a Godzilla movie. I know people were talking about it. I didn't realize it was like already a thing. I thought that like just got announced or something. Dude, they are blasting out Godzilla movies. Pseudo Wu don't. 569, you love to see it. $5.69 from Pseudo Don't. Pirate, <laughs> Stream Elements is giving me fits. So, Obama, as your former president, I'd like you to consider the dire stakes of not watching X and Y. Fart. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think that stream elements might be completely hosed if that's if this is what's happening here. The problem is is stream elements is what passes this over to the um the text to speech engine. <laughs> uh but Brian also is part of that, so I'm not sure why the pirate didn't work. Hmm. He said fought. <laughs> <laughs> oh god it's it's all falling apart it's all falling apart tonight shiny for alligator really looks like it drank a ton of gatorade blue bolt because his tongue is literally blue is it blue i didn't realize his tongue was blue <laughs> uh i'm sorry about that text-to-speech stuff let me try this once more let me just see if the text-to-speech will pick it up $5.69 from Pseudodont. Pirate, Stream Elements is giving me fits. So, Obama, as your former president, I'd like you to consider the dire stakes of not watching X and Y. Far. No. Well, um. I don't know what to tell you, dude. <laughs> something. Something is afoot. And I don't know what it is. What the heck, indeed. Godzilla movies were done by two different studios. Oh, there you go. That makes sense. I guess they were working in tandem or independently. Can you get Solgaleo and Ultra Sun before the Elite Four? 
Uh, yeah, I think, right? Isn't that before the story? Or before the um, Elite Four? During the story that you get the, the box legendaries? I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I think. <laughs> um, hold on. Haven't popped up in a while. Edwin. Hopefully you're doing well, buddy. Uh, things are going all right over here. We're, we're doing some old school shiny hunts recently. If you haven't seen, we've been doing some Gen 3 and like Gen 4 stuff. Um, let me see really quick about the text-to-speech deal because I feel bad about the thing not playing correctly. I'm logging in. I'm going to see if I can force it to, to go through again. Bear with me, guys. Here. Hold on. We're going to make this work. We're going to try again. One more. Five dollars and sixty-nine cents from Sudodont. Pirate stream elements is giving me <laughs> so Obama. It feels even worse when it's. I'd like you to consider the dire <laughs> steps of not into watching this. X and Y. <laughs> Fart. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why this one doesn't work. Hold on, I'm looking at one more thing on text to speech. I thought there was a way I could test a message. Let me take the message that you sent, where he says, fought. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to manually get this one in the system. Let's let's try to, to play this system here. This one's all for pseudo wudo. They, they deserve this. Um this is a little involved. Bear with me. We're we're almost there. Alright, I think this will work. is given me fit so as your former president i'd like you to consider the dire stakes of not watching x and y mm. thought <laughs> that's just for you okay i i don't do this for anybody that was a manual override of the system just for you I don't know if the next one will work or not. That one you're going to have to do with science, but I I can guarantee at least the manual text-to-speech can be done. I just had to call up Obama to make sure he was available. I think maybe he was he was unavailable at the time for that last one. <laughs> Jacob with the four months. IDK, when membership dies, so been around for almost a year. Uh, Jacob, it is... If you got it gifted, it's after 30 days whenever you got it. But uh, I appreciate you hanging out. Even if you aren't a member, if you aren't able to do that, do not stress it, guys. I promise you it's not like uh, a dire situation for your boy. I really appreciate you guys who are in a situation where you can support. But, um, you know, I know we all got different financial stuff going on. So don't, don't ever feel pressured on that. I would rather you guys be, like, financially good. Three dollars from I appreciate you. Fart science. Okay, okay here we are. <laughs> dot. <laughs> dot. <laughs> what? What was the dot at the end? There wasn't even a period at the end of any of this. The farts with reverb, and then he goes, dot. <laughs> um. Well, the science worked. It was Red and Brian's voice, of course, but um. Yeah, sound effects working great. Fantastic. All the important elements are there. <laughs> he lives. He does, in fact. <laughs> I'm going to have a bath. Container of eggs. Enjoy. Uh, if you end stream before, uh, I'll catch you next stream. Yeah, we'll see you around, buddy. I have a video coming out tomorrow as well. Show it some love. That goes for all of you guys. They're... Um, they're few and far between, so try to show them a bunch of love. Get the algorithm to like them. Likes and comments and all that crap, you know. 
the YouTube stuff, but it helps your boy out. It's cool. We had somebody that popped in. I don't know if Raul's still here, but from a regular video, that is so cool. We don't get a lot of like growth from regular videos. It's basically all live stream stuff, but it's it's cool that we're we're finding a little just a little group. <laughs> um I think you asked what isekai anime I've liked uh Tensei the slime <laughs> I forget dude the English translations of a lot of these isekai animes are just they make them sound like the worst things ever um <laughs> the reincarnated as a slime the one with the there was the vending machine one too <laughs> um my claim to fame on this channel is giving you the Sobble Picnic Reset Spot in Scarlet and Violet. No, I, I appreciate it. Everybody plays their part in me uh, potentially finding shinies, maybe uh, harassing me with gnomes and farts. You know, it just really depends what what your vibe is. But we, we all play a part, an important role here in the, uh, the Coleman Collecting ecosystem, if you will. <laughs> Um, maturity is required for this channel, so of course we are. Yes, Pseudo Wudo, the the king of maturity, the absolute legend. <laughs> I do appreciate you, no matter what. YouTube just recommended you to me. Ah, well, I appreciate that. It's cool. We don't get like a ton of algorithm handouts like that. I feel like live streams, regular ones don't really get pushed a ton a ton so it's cool to see people who just found us like completely and naturally through the the recommendation stuff pretty neat and i'm glad you you dig the vibes enough to to hang out for a bit because i know it's kind of tough when it's like you get this new live streamer this new thing and you're not you're like i don't really know this person i don't really want to talk with these fart with reverb people <laughs> Not talking about anybody specifically here, of course. No, nothing like that. <laughs> Pseudo Wudon't with a gifty. Josh, make sure you say thanks if you're in here. Everybody else, make sure you're opting in. Exclamation gift. Get a pay button out there. Mr. Kappa, show some love. <laughs> so there are entirely too many fart with reverbs right now. I'm honored and overjoyed. There you go. Um, maybe it was the font on your thumbnail. Ah, yes, it is the TCG Heart Gold Soul Silver logo. <laughs> That's how I got you in here, huh? The thumbnail design, fantastic. <laughs> um, said this before, but still glad you don't sell your soul to YouTube Shorts live streaming. Yeah, I. It's it's kind of tough, cause like, dude, there have been some people who have been blowing up on uh the shorts live streams and i you know it, it's it's easy to look at that and i don't blame anybody who is on that bandwagon but for me personally i know i don't like watching those i feel like it's a worse watching experience for for me so i don't do it but um yeah growth has definitely been a little slower for your boy because of that but it's it's fine we're going Quality over quantity here at Calm and Collecting Industries. <laughs> I'm not Russian. I would rather find the the real homies slowly, just you know, one by one by one, rather than getting thousands and you know they pop in once and they're like, ah, eh, whatever. You know, I feel like the people who sub and hang out here, kind of kind of in it for the vibes, right? So yeah, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, kind of ruining those communities though. Yeah, it seems like the quality of the chats. I've been in a few of them just kind of checking them out. Because I, for a while, was scoping them out to decide if like I thought it was a good idea doing it for the channel, you know. I'm kind of worried that it kind of pigeonholes you. Like, it locks you into doing those almost. Because if you're used to, at a certain point, having... A few hundred people with 
short streams, which are really popping right now. And then you go back to your regular streams and you're back to like 40, which is a lot of people watching your stream. Like that's not like nothing, you know, it's, it's tough to get to a point where you have 40 people consistently watching your stream, but mentally, <laughs> if you go from 400 to 40, you're like, I'm doing terrible. Why am I doing this? You know, you kind of almost lock yourself in to this, this new expectation and I don't know, I, I get how it can be kind of tough to to adjust it or change it afterwards. So, yeah, either way, whatever. <laughs> I'm not really planning on doing the short stuff. I just, I know for me, that's not my vibe. But I'm glad that you guys dig the, the, the I classics. I suppose I should only be penning meta, measured messages in this digital cinema. Cinema, eh? Um... That was really some interesting English from, um, <laughs> from the narrator. It's, it's just written as narrator. They don't want to give an exact name. I almost said William Defoe, and I know that is not his name. Um, what is his name? The, the documentary guy. This is going to drive me insane. It is... I, I can see the guy. I'm visualizing the guy. Uh, David Attenborough. Yes. Not David... <laughs> not David Pattenborough. Pattenthorough. Is Sir David Attenborough. And he would also say, Fought just like Brian that is exactly what he would say crazy to think I've been watching you for over a year I think I just found you on my for you page that is awesome uh, you know it's cool to hear that the algorithm be working sometimes <laughs> um <clears throat> first time chatter usually a lurker Zach attack sorry I was going off on a tangent you you know how that goes right uh, we always get, you know what, I haven't shouted out the lurkers for a little bit, so maybe we haven't seen them a lot frequently. But, um, <laughs> I appreciate you popping in. I know we have a lot of people lurking, just kind of vibing to the, the stuff going on here. I appreciate you guys hanging out, even if you're not chatting. All you lurkers, I will convince all of you to chat at least once. I appreciate you guys hanging out, though. Even if you're not chatting, just being here, being an extra viewer, maybe throwing a like on the stream. It helps your boy out. You don't have to necessarily be actively chatting. I get it. Sometimes you just want to be like stealth mode. You're doing some shiny hunts. You don't have to keep typing, going back and forth. Like, I, I get it. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, <clears throat> it's a very selfish take, but I like the community on the moderate side where we get to build fun conversations rather than thousands on the chat where you're just watching a VOD in real time. Yeah, uh, sometimes it gets like that. You know, with the Scarlet and Violet times, it was really, really popping. And I have a feeling the Legends ZA times are probably going to be pretty hectic as well. But I appreciate y'all hanging out through thick and thin, whatever it is. <laughs> and I know that we all have phases where we're like, not super into Pokemon or this or that, right? Like there's, there's times where we all get kind of burned out on, on different things. And even just watching the same, <laughs> the same streamer over and over again. I don't necessarily expect all of you guys to be here all the time. That's not my expectation at all. I do appreciate you guys who show up, and there are a lot of you who are just kind of here basically anytime I'm live, and I do greatly appreciate that. But I get sometimes you don't want to see this ugly mug. Sometimes it's just like, ugh. More fart with reverbs. More talking about Legends ZA. Heard it. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys sticking through it all. Wise words from Calm. Social media will drive you insane if you chase quantity over quality. It will, in fact. It's very difficult not to look at the numbers. Ask me how I know. 
Um, yeah, no, it, the, the community is only as good as the members that are in the chat as well. This chat is nothing. If it's just me sitting here looking at all these Pokemans, I am a very small component of this, this whole situation here. I'm just the guy reading things incorrectly on camera. A lot of it is the, the people we got hanging out here. <laughs> um, current time being, I am not interested in Pokemon right now in the slightest. Always enjoy listening to you. I appreciate that. That's the thing. That's what, what tells me we're doing something right here. That we got people who aren't necessarily big Pokemon fans or like actively interested in Pokemon things. They're still hanging out for the vibes. That's what I'm looking for. The good vibes. <laughs> um, try to catch every stream. It's nice for background while I game or shiny hunt. Yeah, we're, we're good background noise and I can appreciate that. Some might take that the wrong way. I think that that's a, a good thing. It just shows that the vibes are right. <laughs> um, fought. Yes, indeed. Fought. Doing DAs. What, uh, YouTube recommended me and love your calm vibes. Zach Attack, I appreciate you, buddy. I am behind on chat. <laughs> I don't know how I am, but uh, I've found a way. I'm really just breaking new ground on, on how to be bad at reading. <laughs> We're always finding new techniques. Um, did you say you went to Japan recently? Did you get the Snorlax serial code? Snorlax serial code. I went to Japan in like late November, early December. I don't know what the Snorlax code is you're talking about though. Uh, still hunting Mewtwo, 280 encounters right now. In uh, which game, Quandale? DAs, I'm assuming, right? If you're talking 280. 280 is rough if DAs, if that's the thing. <laughs> Vlad Schwartz, I appreciate you. The the community, all of you guys are also quality. I give you my stamp of approval. <laughs> um, what are we at? We're at 202 likes, guys. I appreciate you liking the stream. Uh, Lomona, do you want to do? Let's do 250. It's a little bit slower tonight. We'll we'll make it a little more like attainable. I appreciate you guys liking the stream. If you haven't done it, just think about it. Think about it. Uh, Sword Dynamax Adventures. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that is unfortunately quite a bit over odds. Hopefully you get it soon. Are you doing DAs with people in the Discord or just kind of solo in it? First time chatter and lurker. Sarah, I appreciate you hanging out. Hopefully you're digging the vibes. Pseudo woo don't. Chicken pox pie. Show some love. <laughs> You've been great for a hot minute, so Sudowoodo, change that. Making it happen right now. You guys, get some pay buttons, some uh, some Mr. Kappas. You know the deal, right? Show some love. Uh, I usually solo. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's just quick. It's nice not having the uh, attack animations. It is so much faster. <laughs> But I always do dual hunts in DA, so I can't turn them off. It sucks. <laughs> um, I'm earning back my thought privileges. Yeah, that's that's how you <laughs> you're just you're just paying for your uh, monthly subscription to the the fart with reverb monthly. <laughs> you re up and huh? It's like the the minutes on on like your phone card or something. It's the thought card. <clears throat> What's the story behind Mr. Kappa? I saw him in a dream. Um, he spoke to me. He said, you need to start streaming. Spread the gospel of me and how great I am. And you know, the rest, the rest is history. He's just a cool little guy. It's literally just a Kappa emote with Mr. Mime. <laughs> 
I just, I made this. I, I, I made this in Photoshop. He's hilarious and disgusting. Like me. <laughs> Name the shiny Alpha Golduck Powerade because of the Gatorade talk. Um, Powerade. No prime, huh? No prime duck. That's all good. Gatorade is such a good nickname for this thing. It, it, it is. I can't deny it. Will you transfer your new shinies to home? Uh, just some Pokemon player. I don't know. I think that it's cooler having them in these older games. There are some, like, mythicals that I think probably I would transfer, like Manaphy and Jirachi and Deoxys and stuff. Um, besides those, I probably won't transfer anything, though. I just think they're cooler in their little, like, time capsule thing here, you know? Just found your channel last night, Sarah. Uh, was it like the algorithm that you found it? Just uh, recommended? It's it's always cool to hear when people find us just kind of holistically through the, the system, you know? They aren't searching anything up. It just got recommended and they said, eh, I'm going to click on this. And then they hear all the fart with reverbs and then they click out. <laughs> hear me talking about some some stupid math going absolutely ballistically incorrect on some math maybe mispronouncing something it's a pretty good shot it's going to be one of those things <laughs> um deoxys my dream shiny i'm gonna have to get a few of them because when we do that hunt i want to get one of each form as long as i'm going to do it you know so that that's going to be the goal i'm going to try to get one of each form Gotta go, guys. Um, HC, we'll see you around, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget, guys, if you're heading out, I know it's getting late. Check out the video tomorrow. Show it some love. Even if you do DAs, there might be some tips that you're missing. And plus, you know, help me out. <laughs> Pseudo Wudo, gifted a membership to just some Pokemon player. Make sure to say thanks if you're still in here. Show some love. Um... Where I work, it's only closed four days a year, and Easter is one of them. Hmm. That's a... Uh, man, four days a year is rough. That is not a lot of holiday days. <laughs> Need to transfer my shinies so I can work on my shiny living decks. But the poor spiky-eared Pikachu, does it get rid of it? Because it doesn't have a 3D thing, right? Just leave it. Don't transfer that. Just keep it in its time capsule as a cool thing you can remember it as being really cool in that <laughs> um gotta go super nadir you've been here <laughs> super nadir um i'm sorry that you missed that you, you've been lurking around right you, you haven't been talking right am i insane i appreciate you buddy appreciate you popping in Always, always watching. <laughs> Said, all right, I'm going. Uh, got a shiny Toto doll in gold. That's pretty sweet. I, I really would like to do some hunts in Gen 2. Like, just the, the old, old school. You know? Spiky or Pichu can't be transferred at all. Oh. Um, hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, that that answers that question, then. You leave it. <laughs> uh, hope all is well. Did you do any Shadow Mewtwo's today? No, I didn't do any. I, I don't even have Pokemon Go installed anymore. I think I'm going to have to do it again at some point. I just... They make me mad. They make me not calm. <laughs> I just... I wish they would make it a better run a little better. I wish I didn't have to reconnect my Pokemon Go Plus every 45 minutes, because that is what kills me the most. I take a whole drive, and it's like, oh, by the way, I disconnected three minutes into your drive. Dang it. <laughs> so many mythicals, I can only get shiny through Go. 
Yeah, I mean, Jirachi and Celebi and stuff were ones. Is there a shiny Manaphy in Go? It's probably going to be a thing, if not, right? They, they do a lot of events like that. That's what kind of draws me back towards that a little bit, is those dang events. <laughs> the fact spiky-eared Pichu got trapped in Heart Gold Soul Silver will always be a tragedy. Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. Is there anything else like that besides Spiky or Pichu? Hmm. Sometimes I see people's profile pictures on YouTube and I just get confused. You know, I, that's fair. I can barely see anything about the profile pictures when I'm looking in chat. They're so just like, they're like three pixels. <laughs> um, Lycol wasn't updated. Oh, well, Mona, did you do a, a 225? Did I miss it? Let's get a 225 and done. We'll do that and then we'll go to 250. Yeah. Give me give me a 225 though. And just so it's a little bit closer. Cause I we've recently been just kind of getting close to 250, but I think we'll we'll kinda do it in little bite-sized chunks. Popped up while watching another Pokemon video. Ah, Alright, we take those. <laughs> the algorithm doing its thing. Go is the reason I can't complete my living decks. I miss the Zarud events and Sword and Shield. Um, I was able to get it traded to me by somebody in the Discord. And you can trade in Sword and Shield even if you didn't have the event. You can't trade through home though. You have to do it through Sword and Shield. Um, you might be able to find somebody who can help you out with that in the Discord. I don't know if you've asked. But uh, yeah, some of those mythicals are just really annoying to try to get a... Um... <laughs> After it's done, they just make it so difficult, man. My belt has been stabbing me this whole time. And now it's gone. Cosplay P Pikachu in Auras is untransferable. Um, that's like a, a... It's not like an actual form of the Pokemon, right? Like, you can change that on the fly. Can there be shiny versions of that, too? I don't actually know how those work. I didn't actually do any of that in Auras. Yeah, Manaphy is from Pokemon Rangers. You transfer an egg over and you have to hatch it. Um, played Go when it first came out, uh, but then didn't pick it back up until they announced the year-long Shiny Mew Masterworks research. Yeah. yeah, I know a lot of people hop on for those events. They know what they're doing with that. When the numbers start going down, they're like, all right, let's dust off a Shiny Mythical. <laughs> Uh, watch the items you bought in Japan and the video looking for shinies in Japan. Good games. Ah, I'm, I'm glad you dig the vibes. Glad you dig the regular videos. Not a lot of people see the regular videos. Most of my following is from live streams, but um, yeah, it's cool to see people starting to uh, find the channel from the, the regular videos too. We've had a couple people mention that today. It's, it's neat. <laughs> Um, I think it's about time we get shinies of Coridon and Miridon. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't done an event for it. Like, it's weird, right? That they haven't done a something like a GameStop something to just give them away. Uh, Pokemon Ranger was a fun game. Never played a Ranger game. Never played through a Ranger game. Never played through a uh, Mystery Dungeon game. Just never had them growing up. Not willing to pay $8 plus for a single Pokemon. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's it's something, all right. And it it's not even like you get it easily. It's like you have to play the heck out of that game. They're getting that $8 plus all of your location data for <laughs> months to get that thing finally. So, yeah, it's, it's something. Guys, really quick, I am going to... Hit the restroom. I'll be right back. Take a minute. Oh, I have a distortion too. Um, take a minute. Do your thing. Um, should I put on the BRB music? Maybe not. I think I'm just going to let it cook. Uh, hang out with the chair. I'll be right back. Get a snack. Hit the restroom. You know, get some water. Do your thing.
I'll be back a minute or two. Don't go anywhere. How long has she been messing with you guys? How long has she been messing around? Mm, I'm back. The wife has been harassing Chad, it looks like. Uh, how are you guys doing? Yeah, the doggos have said hi. My wife says she's doing Arcus's work. Uh, we have a distortion right now, by the way, too. Woof, what the dog doing? What the dog doing indeed? <clears throat> Let's do the distortion. 
Bring back El Gato. Bring back the cat. The cat's gone. She got out of here. She's smart. She went the heck out of here, man. <laughs> um. Five dollars from Ram One Thousand and One. Oh. Got to respect oh the DS light setup. <laughs> it's pretty rare nowadays to find genuine shiny hunters. Mm. Everyone nowadays just shiny hunts on emulators. Yeah. Keep it up. <laughs> Um, Rom, I appreciate the five dollar reduce, and I'm glad you dig the uh, the DS setup. I know it's kind of a weird setup, and I get why people would choose the convenience of emulators, but I don't know. I just think it's so cool having the kind of old school setup. It's kind of back to the the roots, the shiny hunting roots. <laughs> Yeah, if you guys ever want to know, I got a wireless controller mod in each of the DS lights that I soldered in, and then we have a little game cartridge that transmits controls to all of those. That's how that works. Exclamation setup if you want to see how, just like the links and somebody who can do the install if you need help and all that stuff. It's all, all linked there. Zero messing around, only serious work. That's what we do here. Serious work only, right? <laughs> Um, <clears throat> got multiple pets and your biggest fan in one go. Ah. <laughs> um, whoa. Oh God, here we go. All right, we're synced back up. This is the issue with the, the real life shiny setup too. Sometimes the, the desync is real. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, the emulated stuff, I, I can't fault anybody on the emulated setups, you know. It's definitely much more accessible and just easier to stream and better quality if you don't have, like, a great camera and stuff. Like, I, I get it. But, uh, yeah, the, the OG setup, the camera pointed at consoles. <laughs> um... Did anyone hear the Taco Bell gong? Yeah, that was my wife messing with the soundboard. <laughs> um, no serious work? No, no. All serious work here. That's what we do. I'm a super serious guy, aren't I? No jokes. No ha-has. Just shinies. That is it. <laughs> um, my wife is grabbing me some water. I really, uh, I've been parched. I had to convince her to help me out though. That volume button, or the volume slider, this one too. They're playing very quietly. <laughs> you guys can't hear it, but I can. It's a very faint, just bling bling kind of noise whenever I push A. Um, serious and set up, that's, that's me. Curious and set up here. <laughs> I want to crunchy hot taco. You want to crunchy hot taco. I hope that you get to crunchy hot taco at some point. We all need a crunchy hot taco. <laughs> I think we're all about at that point in the night, right? Like it's kind of late for all of us, most of us. And uh, this is about the time that you would make a an ill-fated trip to Taco Bell, I think. <laughs> this is usually the time frame for it. How much longer do you think you'll go to? Um, I don't know yet. I'd kind of like to get something. If we get something, I'm probably going to end. If we get one of the main targets. But, um, I'm not sure where I'm going to call it if we don't get something. Haven't decided yet. I don't want to go to bed super, super late. But, um... Yeah, we might go to like 11.30, midnight, something like that. I still got some time. I, I want to try to find something tonight, if we can. I pray Mewtwo spares me. I, I hope that it works out for you, buddy. <laughs> I hope that it isn't too terrible. Good night. Thank you. Wipeout gave me the refill. Imagine black and white three after PLZA. I, you know, there's a decent chance. 
It's it's not a zero percent chance. Mm. <clears throat> Not me. I'm planning dinner. I got you. We got people in a bunch of different time zones, I guess. I <laughs> We have a lot of folks in the U.S. kind of time zones early on. And then we kind of switch over to a lot of like Australia and stuff. <laughs> My wife is making noises in the hallway. She's having a, a time out there. I can hear it. No trip to Taco Bell is ill-fated. No, that's not right. It is definitely, <laughs> there's definitely times where you know you're going there and you're, you're in for a bad time afterwards, but you know, it's what you needed at that time, at that point in time, right? <laughs> um, enchilada sounds great. Which kind of enchiladas? Ceiling cat doing some, just a lot of Mexican food in general right now in the chat. It seems like that's the vibe. Most people are wanting that. <laughs> Z, it's going well. We don't have a shiny tonight besides the, the ride on in Legends, which is basically nothing. But, um, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. The Squirtle will not stay in the ball. In the ball. Yeah, the, the starters have really bad catch rates. 154 in the morning for you. So you are East Coast. Yeah, yeah. the daylight saving stuff really hurts East Coast people specifically for my streams. It really just makes it kind of a difficult time to, uh, to watch for more than maybe like an hour for most people. So I appreciate you all who are hanging around despite it being very late. I'm personally a night owl myself, so I get it. If I didn't have to work and have a specific sleep schedule, I would be very much in the the night realm <laughs> um see calm has been mewing he must be what <laughs> what are you talking about dude <laughs> i don't know what that means um yeah sure i wish i could fall asleep early and wake up at like 8 or 9 a.m um i have to wake up at 7 during daylight saving stuff to 7 a.m. It sucks. I don't like it. My old job, I used to be able to like sign on at like 9, 9.30. And that was definitely more my vibe. It was still in the morning, but it wasn't like just super, super early, you know? But the nice thing is, is I'm remote. So I just wake up like 20 minutes before I have to sign on. Quick shower, just get ready. And then done and done. So I don't have to wake up crazy, crazy early. But, yeah. No commute, at least. I'm surviving the sleep. Surviving the sleep, eh? It sounds like maybe a, um... Maybe an album. Maybe a, a single for Electric Diaper. It sounds like that could be a thing. Calm streams are a, a hoot hoot. <laughs> be so down to clown for some verde enchiladas a lot of people want some mexican food i got good news for you a lot of those places are open pretty late i don't know about on easter though that might kind of mess up your deal with that that's the only issue <laughs> um you guys are going to make me need to go to Taco Bell. I, I yeah, uh, that's what happens at a certain point during the streams. It always becomes like a, a hungry stream. People are just talking about food. They want to get everybody's getting hungry. And then, then it usually happens. Sometimes they convince my wife to get a bunch of DoorDash, which is a problem. That has happened more than once. They're enablers. Don't listen to the people in this chat convincing you to get these snackies. It's a bad play. <laughs> Pewish. Um, yeah, it's been a hot minute. How you doing, buddy? How's things? It's going well. We haven't found a shiny tonight. T tonight? I wanted to say tonight and yet. I said tonight. 
<laughs> Make a cool face. I don't got one of those. There's there's no cool face that's being made. I wish I could do the Giga Chad face. The like <laughs> that wasn't even close, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're getting. That's that's as good as I got. <laughs> I really, I really was trying there. I, it r did not work out. <laughs> um, do a treat stream? No, 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 no. When we've had a couple times where people have sent in snackies and stuff, we did do that once. In general, my wife used to bring me snacks during each stream. I guess she did. She did bring me these earlier. I haven't eaten them. Been putting it off. I do like Starburst. I just, when, I don't like eating on stream because I have to like not talk. It's weird. <laughs> um, that is big Sag, but on the good side, there's always tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you just got mogged, what? What, what are we talking? I don't know what that word means. I probably shouldn't say it. If I don't know what it means, I should not read it on stream. Bro got the negative Riz points. That's a fact. But the good news is, I don't really need the Riz points anymore. Your boy's married. I'm old. I, it just, they're, they're unnecessary for me. They should go to somebody else. <laughs> Calm, did a DoorDash guy for real eat some of your order? <laughs> All I know is every time we've had something from DoorDash or whatever, it's never right. Something is missing. It's a problem. So whether or not they ate it, I don't care. I, well, I would hope they didn't eat it. But like, the fact of the matter is, is I don't have everything that I ordered, which is the, the main problem for me. I really would not like it if they were digging around in my food bag but you know i've heard a statistic that that happens a lot though i don't know how true that is <laughs> for some reason people mistake me for a door dasher you ride your bike around a lot with like a bright red backpack or something on like i don't know how else that's gonna happen a lot of a uh, bicycling that might do it <laughs> back to the grind z we'll see you around buddy thanks for popping in unless i want to go to the big city there will will not be tomorrow there will not be tomorrow Oot, because the next closest enchi place is 30 minutes away oh god so you're just you're you're out away from it all huh you know, there's there's good and bad things about that. Obviously, the enchilada game is a little bit weaker when you're out far away. But, but there's good sides, too. <laughs> um, see, I look professional. Yeah, sure. Right. Yeah, that's the one who ate some of my order, guys. Light of Alpha, that, that was the one. Think of it. You're driving around all day with food. I'd get hungry. Then buy some food when you pick it up, dude. <laughs> Doesn't gotta be mine, man. You're at all these food places. You don't even have an excuse not to grab it at that point. Just, you know, make a quick order. You'll just do a mobile order. Pick that up and pick up your DoorDash thing. Done and done. Easy. Yeah. Either way, it is what it is. I don't really like doing them because, like, it ends up being pretty expensive. I know that the people need to get paid. Like, they're driving around. They have to pay for gas and mileage on their car and all this and that. But it ends up being expensive, man. You get some McDonald's and it's like 35 bucks for your Big Mac meal. <laughs> like, dude, it wasn't worth it. And it's so cold. It's, like, really old. <laughs> it's brutal man and it's wrong too it's cold old and wrong yeah it's uh bad times 30 seconds or less and it's free yeah and it's free not or it's free <laughs> 
not technically true, I'm not in the boonies, just the suburbs, but the Encho places are bad nearby. Yeah, you gotta go to the, the right spot. I know what you're saying. I got you. You need to go to the specific ones. The good spots. Uh, Toto Dial, somebody, do you wanna, you wanna roll out? I think that'd be great. Be real nice. Grubhub. <clears throat> I almost inhaled water. Grubhub was one of the worst things invented. Sounds so good, but executed so poorly. Yeah, it's tough. All of the, like, crowdsourced... I don't know that it's, like, it's not actually crowdsourced, but, like, all of the... We have people who are working for us that are, like, kind of associated with us, being the middleman here. It just hasn't worked out super great for a lot of the things that it, it goes for. I think that Uber is tough because they get like, it's like a kind of a bad deal for the drivers at this point, I think, right? Like with with the mileage and stuff, they got a bunch of people signed on with like good rates and then kind of have made it worse over time to kind of try to level it out. But um, yeah, it's rough. <laughs> In Japan, you can't actually do like they have uber but um you have to have a special license to drive other people as a taxi you have to ha have to have a specific taxi license thing so um whenever you do uber you just get a taxi taxis are all over the place in japan and we actually when we were there we took a bunch of taxis it was pretty convenient and not like crazy expensive like it it was a little pricey especially compared to the train but like if there was a spot that was a ways away from the station and you could either do a big long walk or hop in a cab and, you know, pay 1500 yen, which is like at the time, like 10 bucks, something like that, you know, 10 bucks done and done. Take me to the hotel, take me to the, <laughs> the restaurant, you know, it's pretty nice to just have the direct, just boom, you don't have to do any walking from the station and all up and down all the stairs and everything. Um, did you guys hear about how much it is to get into the Ivy League? What? <laughs> this, this is a little random here. The the schools, you mean? Am I getting baited right now? Is this is this some joke? <laughs> Um, Uber as a taxi, relatively new there. Uh, Uber Eats was in Japan way before you could use them as a taxi. Hmm. It was the opposite here, wasn't it? Uber Eats was like the, the new thing after Uber. Hmm. You ever get caught in the photo they're taking of your food and then see yourself in the delivery notification? No, I, I don't order from them, really. <laughs> yeah, when they do you dirty taking the picture of the food on your doorstep. You look like Sasquatch walking out. You know, they get the blurry photo of you grabbing the bag. <laughs> uh, I like to min-max a JR Pass and only use the JR lines in Japan. Yeah, the JR Pass is not a thing anymore. Like, it, it's available, but it is not worth it unless you're just, like, back to back to back doing Shinkansen stuff between, like, big, far away destinations. You basically, every day would have to be taking the Shinkansen and a bunch of regular local trains and stuff to make it worth. But, um, yeah, <laughs> they made it just crazy priced. The one on the left looks so much like such a weird blue, but it has the red spikes. Just weird. <laughs> Help middleman, my child is in that burning building. Looks like a job for that guy. <laughs> oh, thanks, middleman. <laughs> um, yeah, Uber, uh, I was riding in the early, like, 2014. Do you live in Japan, or are you just, like, visiting over there a lot, or what? 
I went to Japan first in 2019. I wish I went earlier. I always wanted to go for a long time. I didn't go until my honeymoon when uh, the wife and I got married a while ago. Uh, I had a green car before, so switching to the regular after the price increase made it not sting as much. Um, yeah, I. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense now. It's, I guess, nice not to have to think about it, but you just get a Suica card. And then you just, you aren't thinking about it anyways. You just reload it, done and done, you know? <laughs> the Suica is the way to do it. Oh. Where did you go to in Japan? I went to a few spots. We, this last trip, we went to like the the typical tourist thing. We went Osaka to Kyoto to Tokyo. Our first trip, we were only in Tokyo, actually. And um, yeah, it, it was a good time. Honestly, Osaka was okay. I didn't like it as much. I feel like it was pretty dirty. <laughs> a lot of places compared to like Tokyo it's always like immaculately clean in Osaka it's definitely a different vibe I got a lot of good deals in Osaka though <laughs> uh, live in Los Angeles I try to go to Japan every year because flights from LAX to Tokyo are crazy cheap yeah but that that's usually I'm going through San Francisco airport though usually when I go to Japan just because it's a much nicer airport LAX is just you know <laughs> you know lax um san francisco's international terminal is really really nice so usually i'm trying to hang around there i'm in osaka right now very nice <laughs> i'm in your face stop it Don't be my face bro you ever going to play or shiny hunt in xd gale of darkness i don't know that is a scary, scary game to shiny hunt in. Freaks me out. 300 on a nice airline from LAX to Tokyo? I've never had a flight that cheap, but um, honestly, after having the, the spicy seats on the way to Japan, I kind of can't go back now. The last time we got upgraded um, to premium economy, which seems like it would just be the same thing, but on international flights, they seat you three or three is how the seats are for like economy. And the seats are really small and crappy and whatever. And it's a long flight. It's like 12 hours or something. Um, so we got upgraded to premium economy, which is a two, three, two seating thing. So it's just me and my wife in the seats next to each other they're more comfortable and they're like bigger and all that and i don't know that i can go back to economy after having the nice just like two seats together thing i honestly have considered taking like a the the more expensive seats even sometimes I, it's so expensive though it's ridiculous premium economy is like a, a big jump up and then past that business class is way more than that it's insanity um yeah yeah japan airlines was nice that's that's who we took on the way uh to and from japan they're good but it was always like some combination of like operated by united and stuff so it's like a mixed bag. Sometimes you're getting... It's a United flight, even though it says JAL, you know? <clears throat> the San Diego uh, airport is in a gross area for traffic. Well, the nice thing is, is I don't have to worry about traffic. Um, <laughs> but the connecting airport I always try to go to, I wish I could just fly out of... Um, Sky Harbor here in Arizona just straight to Japan it seems like it would be close enough but they they won't do it I have to go and connect in California first which sucks <laughs> I wish I could just do the one instead of having to connect um LAX flyaway bus gets me to LAX super quick um it's cool that I mean Japan I've always said is a pretty like reasonably priced vacation um, more so than people think most of the times, like, 
the yen conversion is really good right now but even without that it is not too bad food is cheap there hotels are really cheap and it's all like good quality nice you know always make sure it's actually a japan flight not a code share with an american crew yeah because it really does make a difference <laughs> it's it's a bummer uh, best SoCal airports are Long Beach and Santa Ana. Yeah, but the thing is, is a lot of those aren't international, right? I think the only ones you can go international from are LAX and San Francisco international, right? Right? I don't know. I've never seen a connecting flight to anything between or besides those two. But I also haven't necessarily been looking for others in Cali besides them. Bro, I take Canadian airports. Yeah, we're we're in very different areas. <laughs> I'm very far southwest. Um, 25% off with the currency exchange. Yeah, I mean it's like one dollar is 150 yen almost right now. It's crazy. Very, very good. I've been taking advantage. I've been buying you guys have seen it. All of these Japanese Pokemon. Okay, those those two are English. But besides that, it's all Japanese. Been buying a lot of Japanese things when the conversion rate is nice and spicy. Long Beach does some international. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I've never had a connecting flight through that, but I don't know. I've I've gone through San Francisco the last couple times. It's been good. So I figure if it if it ain't broke. Don't fix it, right? They have a really cool... Um... Oh, that was in Haneda, wasn't it? That was in Tokyo. They have a really cool international terminal at uh, Haneda as well. A lot of cool gift shops and food and stuff. Uh, wouldn't be able to go to Japan because I'd spend too much on souvenirs. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um... Not Log Beach. Long. I said Long Beach. <laughs> I didn't say Log Beach. Stop it. <laughs> I I will admit when I'm wrong. It is Long Beach. I didn't say Log Beach. <laughs> Haneda's be better than Narita. Yeah. Haneda's way nicer. We flew into Narita last time. And it's like, it's way further out. I don't get why everybody flies through Narita beach full of logs that is kind of true oh you typed log beach okay it usually it's a me problem not the people typing problem so i just had to fight for my my glory here <laughs> got a shiny pikachu and pokemon sleep very nice i've never installed it even never even tried it the beach full of logs um <laughs> yeah what can you do? Guys, after this reset, I think this is going to be my last one. I think I'm going to go hang out with the wife for a little bit before we have to go to bed. But um, I appreciate y'all hanging out this week, doing some of these older shiny hunts. This is going to be my final reset. Guys, if you haven't liked the stream yet, please consider doing it. Help your boy out on the algorithm. If you haven't subbed yet, we're on our way to 12k. We're making our way downtown. Um... I appreciate everybody who supported tonight. We have a few people paying even more for these memberships. We have Woodrow the Kid, Panky Rang, Zonif. Oh, <laughs> no, Sir Shicker, Kasane V2. It's hard coded. Z Toxic, Oxford Striplin, Chrissy, Ellie Dogmeat, Vlad Shorts, Fuji Toby, Gilgamesh, Porsche Nut, Pseudo Wudo, Avatar Hassan, McPablo Joel, and in the Cultist tier, we have Mistaken, Oriso, Ray's Plays. A thing was to the Grandmaster Ceiling Cat Ouroboros and Volt paying a ridiculous amount of money. I appreciate y'all hanging out. Let's do this final check. No Chico. No Cyndaquil. The Nodo dial. We're going to raid somebody. Hold on. See who's still live here. Um, Frosty Lemon it is. Guys, we're going to do a hashtag calm raid. Please be respectful. Please don't spam. Um, I'll see you guys over there. Check out the video tomorrow.
show some love. Help me out. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> I appreciate you joining the Calm Crew and Oriso with 15 months. End of stream highlighted message. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you over at Frosty's.